Good morning, everybody. This is Calvin Butler with the RBBS Logistics Learning Center, and today is Saturday, 10:15 a.m. Coming up here in about the next 15 minutes, 15 20 minutes, and we will be ready to start our live broadcast for our operational training. Um, I want to let everybody know here just before we get started that we are going with some. Um, we're adding some new stuff. And we got a lot of uh, new changes, that more exciting changes. Uh, one of the biggest changes that we're going to be announcing t today is our um, is the way our students enroll and what they pay, and we are giving them a way to increase their earnings. Okay, they have the option of being able to increase their earnings. So make sure you all uh, take hold of that. Some of our new changes. For any of you who are thinking about joining us, uh, we're going to be giving our students the options um, of when they enroll. They will pay a one-time enrollment fee, and then they will have the option of either either collecting um, five percent of the dispatch um, fee. I'm sorry, fifth percent of the dispatch fee, which will be five percent of the load fee because our dispatch fee, our total dispatch fee, is ten percent. So we will offer them a fifty-fifty split, which is what they currently enjoy now when they book freight. They get 50% of the um, dispatch fee. We get 50% of the dispatch fee. They get 5% low fee. We get 5% low fee. This is how they pay us back for our tools and services and everything that we afford to them in using our network. What we are going to is this. They can now pay a one-time enrollment fee. That's still the same. They, instead of paying 50% of their dispatch fee when they dispatch freight, they can opt to keep the full 10%, but they would have to pay a subscription fee to our platform, $19.95 per month, $19.95 per month. Now, everybody's probably saying, wow, okay, that's a, you're cutting yourself out of a huge dispatch fee. Yes, we are. We are cutting ourselves out of a huge dispatch fee because we want to give our students the option because uh, some students come on and they know they're ready to do this and they know they got it down and they know they can book a whole lot of freight. So instead of having them to give up half of their their fee, half of their work, okay, we're going to give them the option of doing that versus and getting the um, um, and, and either giving up half their fee for access to our platform, network tools, resources, and things of that nature, or they can just pay a, a small subscription fee monthly, $19.95 per month. The reason why we're doing this is because we have, gone, we have gotten a huge, huge, we have a large base of students right now. We will be over 1,000 students, which is 1,000 members to our national network of dispatchers, probably before the end of next month. So, um, our board and I, we have been discussing this all week, and we think it would be more advantageous to go to try and move more to, towards more towards a subscription-based type of platform. And by doing it this way, uh, when the students come on and they book freight, they keep all their money, and they're only paying up $19.95 per month to access our network. Okay? But they pay us the enrollment fee. Enrollment fee is still $349.95. We may... We may decide to lower that, nothing in the near future, but if we do, it's only going to go back to the um, $299.95. Um, but um, we are looking at that, but we're going to um, um, leave it at the $349.95 uh, for right now. And our um, we have the option now. When you click on to our um, um, enrollment page, you will see where you will have the option of getting the um, having the um, the monthly subscription fee or paying half of your dispatch fee, um, splitting your dispatch your dispatch uh, fee with our platform. But those are just some of the changes that we are bringing about. That we think is going to help to improve things, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, when we um, announce that today. In the meantime, um, I'm here at the studio. If you all want to come down and join us, if you're in the area, come on down, 2915 Share Road. Join us here, and 
We're going to get started here in the next 10 minutes. We'll be ready to start. Within the next 10 minutes, we'll be ready to start our live broadcast for our operational training. Um, this is just part of what we offer with our platform. Um, so, uh, you know, if you're thinking about joining our platform, we have we have uh, a platform that's not like any other. Um, all the other platforms out there, none of them offer as the tools, the resources, this type of networking and this type of support and training every week like we do. Uh, our platform is not a class, it's not a course, it is a network, it is a uh, platform that plugs you into the net, plugs you into the industry and allows you to work this industry and learn by making mistakes. So that's all you're going to learn. I mean, let's, I mean, let's face it, you're only going to learn by making mistakes. So it allows you to learn and earn money at the same time. And once you've got this down, then you should be ready to move on and, 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 and move on to any part of this industry you would like to because you want to move on and become a full-fledged broker or a freight forwarder or if you want to remain a dispatch firm. Um, I know a lot of you out there are probably saying, well, it's better to become a broker. Well, uh, maybe, maybe not. It depends on, 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 on how much money you have to invest, first of all, because becoming a broker is not, is, 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 is extremely expensive. <laughs> okay, it is. Uh, it is extremely expensive. You don't need any real knowledge. You just need money. That's basically what you need to, uh, to become a broker. Um, dispatch firms make just as much as brokers firms do. I can tell you that for a fact. My dispatch firm, uh, RBBS Transport LLC, makes plenty of money. We dispatch for 317 carriers. So we dispatch for 317 carriers. Me personally, uh, my dispatch firm uses interns to dispatch freight, to contact the carriers and find them loads and things like that. We use interns from the three major universities here um, that we use here in, in Tallahassee, uh, Florida State, Sam UTCC. That's what we use. So uh, um, that's the approach that we did because why? We don't have to really pay them. We just grade them. <laughs> so, so, and they do great work. So, uh, and we book about three to four loads per week for it just about 90% of the carriers that we have on any given week. Um, and that's 317 carriers. You, know, you all can do the math. Um, so, no, I'm not, my, my firm is not hurting for business. It's not hurting for uh, money, um, as you might tell. But that's just the way the industry is and, sh and showing you that once you get this, get, get this built up, you can build this. You can build this as large as you want. I personally know a young lady who makes almost two million a year dispatch. She has her own firm. I think her firm. I'm not sure exactly how many carriers she has, but she has quite a few carriers. I know she has about 37 to 40 sub dispatchers that work underneath her, and I know she splits with them. I'm not sure what her split is. I don't know if it's 50, 50, 70, 30, uh, you know, uh, 60, 40, whatever it is. But I know she has about 40 dispatchers that work underneath her. Um, it works for her dispatch firm, and she brings in almost two million a year. And she started this about four years ago, right when I uh, was thinking about starting mine. We used to talk when I was a truck driver, and that's how she started. And we used to talk about the industry and talk about broker and freight and things like that, and starting our own dispatch firms and things of that nature. So she makes great money. Charles, Monday. Hey, Charles. Uh, we're just doing a little pre-broadcast here. Give me a minute here. Um, but... Uh, those are some of the changes that we're going to be coming up with. I just wanted to make that announcement so that it would be here on the recording, and then we will make the announcement again to our students and our network members once they join in on our conference call today. We've got some changes that we are uh, going to present to you, uh, to everyone. So, and uh, I think y'all will like it. Um, it's it's going to help our students make more money. It's going to help them. I know they'll be happy with being able to keep more money. So <laughs> we're going to allow them to keep more money um, if they so choose to. But it'll be their option, and everyone who is signing up with us from here on out will have that option um, to keep more of their money. But I'm going to break here for a second, get some things done, and we'll be right back with you all in about five. Later. Good morning, everybody. This is Calvin Butler with the RBBS Logistics Learning Center, Earn While You Learn, freight broker training and dispatch training platform. Every Saturday, we are here, 10 to 15 a.m., 
here in our live studio, as you all see here, and here in Tallahassee, Florida, at 2915 Share Road at the Avenue 29. We are here every Saturday morning, so if you're in the area, stop by. Come on down. Join us live here, 1015 to 1 p.m. every Saturday. Um, bring your laptop computer, sit down with us, and we'll show you how to book some freight. No charge whatsoever. You don't even have to join our platform if you don't want to. But I promise you, once you sit in on one of our live events, you will be compelled to want to join our platform because if you have any interest in making money from home booking freight, this is the way to do it. Um, trust me on that. And today we've got some big announcements. We're going to be announcing a way for our students to make more money, to keep more of their money. So let's get ready. Let's get started. And today, who we have, we have our students on today. Let's get started. All right. Today, our first hour is going to be on auto hauling. I want to say good morning to everyone. Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing today? Okay, y'all quiet this morning. Y all, y all, y all, Good morning. Okay, I'm about to say that y'all know what happens when y'all be quiet, right? For the, for, no. the new people, for, the new that, for the new people that don't know what happens when y'all are quiet, and I feel like y'all not talking to me, I break out in my song. Okay? We don't want I'm that. To me. I really want to know your name. I really want to go on now. Y'all may be breaking to my Jodeci now. <laughs> All right, now. So don't make me break into my song uh, here early on a Saturday morning. All right. Uh, we, got, we got a bunch of new students. We got a bunch of new students. We got a bunch of new students. Well, our new students, when you come on to our um, live broadcast here on Free Conference Call, there's a text area here. Uh, if you see the Texas, the text area is where we share information, um, links and stuff. You all can actually share links and stuff as you're um, talking to each other while you're involved with me. This is a total interactive platform. So every Saturday, we have our live interactive um, operational training, consultations, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we have one hour of training and we have two hours of Q&A. If you have a question while we are doing the one hour of training, please type it in to this area that I'm about to show you all that says here. This is where you would type it into. You would type it in right there, and then I will read it, and then we will answer your question. Um, if, you, if you want to, and I encourage you, if you want to, you can unmute your mic and ask a question. Um, normally, we save that for the second half of what we're doing, the two hours of Q&A. So during the two hours of Q&A, I prefer you all to unmute your mic, announce yourself, tell us who you are, and tell us, you know, what area you're representing if you're out of North Carolina. Um, by the way, uh, for those of you who are up in the storm ravaged areas, uh, um, hope you all are safe on Florence. Um, she is kind of wreaking havoc, and we hope that you all are all safe and hope that your carriers are safe. Um, we are uh, great. Charles Money is down in that area. He said he's all good. That that is great. All right, but um, unmute yourself. Ask the question. You know, tell us who you are, where you're from, and what your company's name is, or whatever the case may be. You know, kind of this is your chance to get some um, some free air time for your company. You know, tell us your company name and stuff, and then ask your question, and we'll be happy to help you resolve that. That's what we're here for every Saturday. Um, so. Uh, but during the um, during the um, uh, uh, the operational training portion, the first hour, let's keep it to your texts. You can text it to us and things like that. Unless you have something that you really want to ask at that point, and I give y'all opportunities um, after I make a point to, to make sure you all got it. If you didn't get it, then that's your time to chime in, uh, unmute yourself, and let me um, know. Um, um, you know what you have on your mind, or if 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 it's not jiving with you, or if you're just not getting it, just let me know, and we'll see if we can clear it up for you. But first of all, let's make some announcements. All right, first announcement. All right, you know how when you all normally sign up, all of you all who are in our platform right now. Oh, and by the way, we have some interesting statistics and numbers for you all. Uh, just got the numbers in from our. Um, 
YouTube and our various channels and everything. And I'm going to let you all know about some numbers that we have going on here. Give me a second here, and I will pull it up for you. And I'm going to you all by, by the numbers. Let me see. I, I posted it for everyone to see. Like I do everything. Y'all know me. I'm always posting every dog on thing. How's everybody doing while we stroll good. through here? Everybody doing pretty good? Good, 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 good. good. Charles, I, Charles, I hear you booking a whole bunch of freight, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah Yesterday, uh, yesterday uh, alone, yesterday alone, uh, I booked twelve loads. Yeah, okay. See, 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 now he's starting to hit my legendary status. <laughs> <laughs> see, our little, our little brother told me, little brother told me, uh, when it was either yesterday or, or day before yesterday, a little brother came once and said, "Man, Charles Money booking a whole bunch of freight. He about to break your record." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not there yet, man. <laughs> they were I'm not, <laughs> yeah, and somebody said, what? somebody came up and said, man, and how many loads you say you used to book a day? I thought, book about 10 to 12 a day, you know, sometimes 15, but I consistently book about 10 to 12. You know, you look protege, sounds like to me. He, <laughs> he, I did. Like he, that, that, was a, <laughs> that was a one, that was a one hit or quit. <laughs> Well, I average, on, I average about I average about four four a day, and, and that's pretty good because right now I average about eight to ten per week, and I'm gonna tell y'all what. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is this because this leads into our <coughs> announcement. Okay, I book on average about eight to ten loads um, per week. If you all don't know, I post my personal low bookings and earnings every month. Okay, for everybody to see. Because I want people to see how this works. I want people to see how it can work for, for them. Now, as busy as I am, a lot of people always call up and ask me. They say, uh, Mr. Butler, uh, can I do this while I'm working? Can I do this from the road? Can I do this while I'm still driving trucks? Can I do it? It's still be time for me to do this without having to devote all my time to it. Now, back when I, could, back when I was de devoting all my time to this, I was booking like Mr. Superstar Charles Monday does, I was booking 10 to 15 loads per day. That's when I had my time to just do this, you know, just eight hours a day, six hours a day, whatever it may be. Now I don't have that kind of time. I'm going to be honest with you. The only time I book freight is on Saturdays and Sundays and maybe sometimes on Monday. Because what I do is I book all my carriers out for the entire week. That's what I do. On Saturdays and Sundays, I find all the loads I need to find for them for the entire week. Okay? This is something that you all need to start practicing or at least start working on. At least start kind of, when you're looking at the load board, kind of start teaching yourself to book for the entire week. Kind of practice I have, I have that. A question, practice I have a loads. question about that. Yeah, just kind of start practicing booking your loads for the entire week. Now, I know, yes, it is a little bit easier for me because my dispatch firm has a lot of contacts. We have a lot of dedicated freight. So a lot of our loads that the interns handle for those 317 carries, now, no, we don't book loads for all 317 carries every single day. But we do book loads, about 80% of our carries get booked out every single day. 80%. Now, let me explain that. A good portion of those loads are dedicated, okay, because we've been doing this for a while. We've secured a bunch of dedicated freight. So a good portion of our loads are dedicated or what we call sub-dedicated. What I call a sub-dedicated run is a load that's not guaranteed to, to, to that carrier, but it's a first-come, first-serve, and they have maybe 15 20 loads leaving out of that same um, distribution center going to the same area every single day. Okay? So if we can get it, so if, if we tell our carriers, you know, they've got 15 loads, that, you know, 20 loads that normally leave out of it every day, if you get there early enough, you're going to be the ones that grab one of those loads, like the one down here in Valdosta and Alaska, those that I used to be on. Now one of my carriers, one of our carriers 
I ran that load. The load is a load of um, bottled water and Coca-Cola products. Leaves out of um, 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 live oak area, okay, here in Florida. Leaves out of live oak. It, it leaves live oak, a load picks it up, and it goes down to a lateral. That's only about, what, 70 miles. No, not even that. I take that back. About 40 miles. That's about 40 miles. But that load pays $320, okay, for running 40 miles every day, every, every day. Every day. They run those loads all day long, every single day. All day long, every single day. From 5.30 in the morning until 5 p.m. in the afternoon, those loads run. So if you were there early in the morning, guess what? You were going to be in line to grab one of those loads. That's what we call a sub, um, 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 a, a sub-dedicated run. Okay? Because it's not something that's contracted to you, but if you, it's a first come first serve. You get there and you're in line, you're going to get the load. Okay? You're going to get one of the loads. Plain and simple. Okay? So uh, that's, that's what we call sub-dedicated. Uh, out of our runs, uh, but that load pays $320. Then when you get down to Alachua, um, takes, it's, it's a 40 mile trip. I mean, really. You get down to Alachua, you drop that load, then there's another load that leaves out of Alachua, that leaves out of Alachua coming to Tallahassee, another Coca Cola run, bottled water Coca Cola. It leaves Alachua, and those loads run every single day, all day long. Okay? They start picking up at what? 5 30 in the morning. You have to be there at 5 30. The first load loads up at 6 a.m. You're out, oh, I'm sorry, loads up at 5 45. You're out of there by 6 30, uh, heading towards Tallahassee. Okay, now Tallahassee is only about 79 miles from a lateral. Only 79 miles from a lateral. So, uh, if you, if, if you have stuff going on, please mute your mics. Because these mics do pick up everything. Someone just made a phone call. We heard everything on your phone call. So uh, it is being broadcast live. It is recorded, and it will be on YouTube for the world to see. So <laughs> if you uh, got stuff going on in the background, if you're calling your girlfriends or boyfriends or something, you might want to check it because <laughs> it's being recorded. <laughs> okay. So uh, keep your mics muted unless you're asking a question. But anyway, that load running down to Alaska. From last year, the Tallahassee is only about 79 miles. 79 miles. And that load pays $620. $620, six, six, 620 to 650 Okay? That's good money. That's how carriers in Florida make money. They stay in Florida. That right there, you can run both those loads. You can run a load from Live Oak to Alachua, then Alachua to Tallahassee, and then the load. Uh, then you can then head back to Live Oak and pick up a load. Why? Because Live Oak is only 30 miles from Tallahassee. And you can do that every single day. Live Oak to Alachua, $320. Alachua to Tallahassee, $650. Dead head from Tallahassee back to Live Oak, pick up another load. How simple can that be? That's what we call sub-dedicated runs. Now, with that being said, let's get back to my point. Um, what was my point? Okay, yeah. <laughs> that was my all-timers moment. Not making fun of all-timers, but I'm just saying. That was my moment. Um, um, <laughs> my point was, is this. Look, we book a whole lot of freight. We book a whole lot of freight. Okay? And I only book, as y'all can see here, I'm showing you all, um, my statements from, from each month. This is what you're seeing. I only book about uh, literally eight loads tops, eight loads per week now. I only book loads for about three carriers. Okay, I try to find each carrier three to four loads each week. That's all I book for now. Eight to twelve loads a week is all I book. Okay, and that, and that's showing you from here is from our report. As you can see here, um, every month, you know, from the beginning since March, I've been booking, you know, thirty six, thirty two. At the most, 51 loads uh, for the entire month, okay, and been averaging about 277, 280, just under 300 on my um, load on my fee, on my um, my dispatch fee, okay, on my 10% of the load fee, and that's been earning me somewhere between 
eight seventy five hundred and fifteen thousand per month. Okay, that is no exaggeration. It's right there in black and white. I show you all the reports I get every month from um, from um, my Square account. So you know, there it is. And that's on the eight to eight to twelve loads per week. Mr. Monday booked twelve loads the other day by himself in one day. I've got students who are booking six, seven, five loads uh, per day. He, on average, do the four to five loads per day. Now, if y'all want to know who Big Money Griffey is, Charles Mundy is. <laughs> okay, so if you need, if you need <laughs> no, money, no, no. <laughs> if you need money, y'all hit him up. Okay, because no, no. me, because me, because if you can see what I earn from these, uh, you know, eight loads a week, eight to twelve loads a week, you know what he's earning from his twelve loads a day, <laughs> or at least his four loads a day. You, you understand what I'm saying? What I'm trying to tell y'all is this: it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to earn good money in this business. I promise you it don't. I promise you it don't. And and the reason why I'm saying that because today's announcement, today's announcement is for to show you all we're going to be uh, giving you all the option to keep more of your money. As it stands right now, as it stands right now, when as it stands right now, when you all sign up with us, when you all sign up with us, I'm going to mute everybody real quick here, real quick. Because um, I need everyone to actually hear this. If you can, if you have a question, you okay. As it stands right now, when you all sign up with our platform, okay, when you all sign up with our platform, you all pay a one-time enrollment fee. Um, you all were most of you all came on during our half off. Our year-long half off special, our fifty percent off special. So you pay two ninety nine ninety five. You pay the one-time fee of two ninety nine ninety five. Our fee now is our our standard fee now is three forty nine ninety five. We didn't we didn't bump it back up to the five ninety nine ninety five. No, because we still want to have a good price point. We still want to have a have a low entry point that people could afford. So our entry point right now to join our platform one-time enrollment three forty nine ninety five. The military discount is two forty nine ninety five. Okay, so for military personnel, spouses, and things like that, it's two forty nine ninety five. For regular civilian people who are not associated with the military, it's three forty nine ninety five. When you all join, when you all book freight from using our service, we provide you all with our tools and resources, um, links, um, back office site, uh, access to the federal government sit code site, all that stuff. We provide you all access to all that. A chat group where you all can ask questions and help each other out. And then that chat, by the way, is working to perfection. I, I, I see people on all the time. You all are teaching each other more about the business. Whether you all know it or not, you all are learning more from each other than you ever learned from us. Okay? Whether you know it or not. And that's the power of that networking side of it. Okay? But you earn all that, and then we split the dispatch fee. Our dispatch fee is what? 10% of the load fee. You're carrying when he runs the load, he pays you all 10%. We collect that for you, and then we split that with you. You get 5%, we get 5%. Now, how would you all like to keep the entire 10%? Does that interest anyone? Does anyone interested at all in keeping the entire 10%? Most definitely. All right. With that being said, I've been talking with the with the board all week long, but I for the last couple of weeks, and what we came up with is this. We're going to give everyone the option. Everyone will have the option, including the ones who've already enrolled and those who are going to be enrolling from here on out. You will now have the option of either opting for your commission's payout to be like it is now, where you receive half of the 10% dispatch fee, or you can opt to keep your entire dispatch fee of 10%, and we will still do your processing for you. We will still process your invoicing. We will still do your invoice, or you can do your own invoicing, but if you still want us to do the invoices, we will still do your invoicing, and you can pay a subscription fee of nineteen ninety five per month. Okay? So you can either pay your enrollment fee 
from here on out, or if you're already in, enrolled, for those of you who enrolled, this is what this means. Now when you book freight, you get 5%, we get 5%. If you book a load that had a $1,000 load fee, that means you're getting what? That's a $100 that is going to pay us out. You're going to get $50, we're going to get $50. Under the new platform, under the new um, commission option, right, you can opt to keep your entire 10%, but you must subscribe to access the tools and resources and stay within our platform. Okay? In order to stay within our platform, you must subscribe if you're taking your full 10%, if you're taking all of the, your load fee. If you're taking 1% of your load fee, 1% of your dispatch fee, then you will pay a $19.95 um, subscription monthly. You receive it. It'll be, it'll be sent to you automatically, billed to you every month. You click on it, and you pay. Simple as that. As long as you pay, you have access to everything that we offer. If you don't pay, you don't get access. You get cut off. <laughs> okay? You get cut off. And you can access what we offer. You understand what I'm saying? But as long as you are subscribing, you keep your whole 10%. Now, I don't know if this is something that is of interest. Let me check some of the U.S. scholars here. Uh, Charles says that is genius. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. I, I tend to teeter on that sometimes. Uh, Nisha K said yes, of course. Uh, and, and so that's what it is. Now, for those of you, uh, what, what, what this does is, and what this does is, for those of you who are pretty sure what you're doing, for those of you who, who, who really think that you can book freight on a regular basis, as you can see, Charles Money did. And, and let, me re let me remind y'all now, Charles gave himself 90 days to learn this, to learn this, to make this work. He actually uh, took a 90 day uh, sabbatical from his job driving trucks. He, took, he said, look, I'm stepping away for, for, for 90 days. Uh, and then he gave himself 90 days to learn this. Now, everybody knows the story. The first 30 days, uh, Charles did it his way. <laughs> For 30 days, Charles did it his way. He fought yep. the system, you know. You know, he was he was like NWA. Fight the power. Fight the power's MD. <laughs> That's what he did. He fought the system. He fought the system hard. He wanted to do it his way. So for 30 days, Charles, did you make any money? Nope. Did you sign up in the carrier? Nope. All right. So on day 31, Charles called me. He said, Calvin, yeah, Charles, he said, man, I don't think this is working, man. I said, what do you mean? Said, I mean, this ain't working for me, man. I said, well, Charles, what do you mean it ain't working? I mean, what are you doing? Man, I done sent out, I'm sending out 200, I'm, I'm, I'm contacting 200 carriers a day, and ain't nobody signing up. I said, huh? <laughs> you contacted 200 carriers. First of all, that's a lot of carriers. I mean, he was, I thought, I'm sending my Charles burning the phones up. And he ain't got nobody to sign up. I said, well, Charles, are you pitching him? Are you telling him, you know, are you giving him a pitch? Oh, yeah, I'm giving him a pitch. I'm giving him a pitch. Okay. I said, okay, so what are you saying to him? Oh, I'm not talking to him. I go, huh? <laughs> You're not talking to him. He's like, I'm sending him emails. <laughs> I said, Charles. <laughs> I said, Charles, come on, man. <laughs> in order to give us a, in order to give us a fair shot, you gotta follow the system, work the system, follow the system. And our system says, what? You contact these people directly by phone. You call them up. You make that pitch. How much money do you need to move your truck? So Charles, okay, well I'm gonna try that. Okay, Charles, what happened the next day after you tried that? I got, I got about three carriers signed up. Nah, you, see, yep. you see, you see how, and, and, and that's the legend of Charles Monday. <laughs> <laughs> from, from, from that, about three, four weeks later, he called me and he said, man, I booked six loads today. Or, uh, man, I booked six loads this week. I booked eight loads this week. This, this, and that. And after that, it was, it was a wrap. It was yep. a wrap. And the reason yep. why the, we, and the reason why it was a wrap, because he followed the system. He worked the system. He worked the platform. If you work the system, if you follow the system, if you work the platform, you will make money. 
Okay, and I mean, it, it's almost impossible for you not to make money if you just follow the system. If you pitch the script the way we teach you how to pitch it, it's almost impossible for you to not get carried to, to sign up. If you do the follow up a day and a half to two days later, and you do the follow up pitch, it's in, almost impossible for you to not to get seventy percent of the people you contact to sign up to your dispatch agreement. And once you get that dispatch agreement and the profile, you send them the profile sheet and they tell you how they want to run, it, it, it's a wrap out for that because then it's just a matter of what? Finding freight. We give you all enough sources to go find freight. We give you all a network that helps you to find freight. And by the way, under our new payment system, if you get the help from someone else, you are going to have to do a um, a a um, an agreement with them to pay them their uh, which 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 we'll still do your invoicing and, and collect for you. So if someone helped you find a load, you, they're still going to be paid. You know, their two point five percent. So uh, we just won't get any part of it. You know, they'll be paid that two point five percent. We'll take it out of your ten percent, and you'll still get your what is what's, what's that seven and a half percent? Uh, yeah. So you'll still get your seven and a half percent, and they'll get that two point five percent. If they help you, if they provide you with the load, so it, that still will be the same. Okay, uh, the only di difference is what we, the only difference th that will be happening is that you'll be getting your full ten percent of your load fee, okay, of your of your dispatch fee, and you'll be paying us nineteen ninety five a month to access our platform. Um, if anyone who is interested in that. Those of you who are already enrolled, if you are interested in that, send us an email saying, uh, please enroll me in the full 10% um, uh, enrollment plan. In other words, you keep your full 10% dispatch fee, and you're going to enroll, and then we'll send you out your enrollment, and you can click on it, and you can start paying your $19.95 per month. Okay? Uh, but send it over to training. I'm, I'm typing it into you all now. at drbbsllc dot o r g. Okay? That's where you're gonna send it to. You're gonna send it over to training at drbbsllc dot org. Or if you have your receipt, if you still have your email receipt, you can reply to your email right to our square. You can reply to that. Please sign me up for the nineteen ninety five per month. Um um, 10% um, 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 platform fee and uh, or or make a please sign me up for the subscription fee uh, and make sure when you do that we will check to see if you are enrolled now in order to, be, to, to do this you must be enrolled you must be enrolled so if you are new and you're thinking about joining our platform you must enroll first and then when you enroll we will give you the option of being paid either by the um, um, your full 10% and you pay a nineteen nine nineteen dollars ninety five cent monthly subscription or you can um, keep your or, or, or you can get half of your dispatch fee and pay no subscription so um, I think that's going to help out, help you all out a lot because what that's the difference of that's the difference in booking five loads at a thousand dollars per load fee and getting fifty dollars per load, and on five loads you're making what two hundred and fifty dollars versus making five hundred dollars. So that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, that's the reason why when I do this ten percent on eight nine loads per month, I'm averaging two hundred and fifty seven, two hundred and seventy seven. As y'all can see here, I'm just going through my um, uh, my revenue. Uh, um, um, our reports here, um, you know, and that's and that's what I average, you know, two forty five. This was thirty two loads booked in the month, two hundred forty five dollars and twenty eight cent average per load. Um, that one made me almost uh, seven thousand eight hundred forty nine dollars and twenty four cent. Um, the worst month I've had, or well, this is another month, um, forty loads booked, uh, two hundred fifty three dollars and ninety cent average. That Generated ten thousand one hundred fifty-five dollars and ninety-five cents. 
because I'm collecting the whole 10%. Now, if this was, if, if you did the same exact thing under our current program, you would be half that. Why? Because we get half that, and you would get half that. But now we're offering you all the opportunity to keep all of that and just pay a, a small um, um, subscription fee, right? So, uh, but that was that month. That was July. Here this August, worst month I've had. Because as y'all know, I've taken on a lot more responsibilities. I couldn't book as much freight this month. I was, I was, this is the this is the worst month I've had since I started this on booking freight. Um, this right here, and and that's because I've been I was meeting with the board all week uh, for the last two weeks. Uh, you know, trying to get this low board uh, up and running and get it up. So I I literally don't have time to book freight like I used to. And on top of that, I answer about 50 to 100 calls per day from recruits and people who are calling in asking about the program and wanting to know about what we do, how we do, and where we do it at. Okay? But uh, here's a month where I did um, in August, this past month. Matter of fact, this is, this is the, the latest report. Um, my worst month in three years and still earn more than seven grand. And that was on 32 loads, $233.16 per load. And and I didn't really drop in the number of loads I booked. It's just that the load fees were on some of the bike hauls that I was finding were not nearly as much as the, what they were the month before or the previous months. And if you all haven't noticed, your rates have dropped a little bit. You know, if you all have noticed that. If you all haven't noticed, uh, some of you all can confirm that because you've been doing this on a daily basis. But the rates did drop a little bit. The rates have dropped a little bit. I think they're going to take an upswing back up, especially heading up towards North Carolina, Virginia, and some of the places up there after the hurricane. So y'all get ready for it. It's going to be some lot of high-paying freight that's going to be going up in those areas. Um, There's going to be a lot of FEMA loads that are going to be available. So um, be ready for it. Keep your ear, keep your ear to the ground. If you have some FEMA contacts, now is the time to contact them and let them know that, that you have carriers uh, that may be interested. Contact your carriers. Ask them if they want to be interested in any of those FEMA loads. There's going to be a lot of high end um, um, the FEMA load um, freight. Um, if you all need um, to find out who has FEMA loads, um, I'm, I'm, I'm Charles. You know some places they have FEMA load. Matter of fact, we post some stuff on the social media load board uh, that we have some. Um, yeah, you get some, uh, I got a, I got a carrier that sent me an email about a FEMA connection. I'll I'll, I'll get that over to the uh, to the RBBS chat group. Okay, great. So make sure you all plug into the chat group and get that information from Charles on those FEMA loads. All right, but that's our announcement on that side of it. Uh, I am still. Definitely working on the low board. We will have it ready. When it is ready, you all will be thoroughly, thoroughly pleased. I promise you that. It's looking good. I, I haven't even presented to my business partners yet um, because I want to make sure I get everything in that I need to get into it and then have them to have them to, to review it and then we can go over and make any changes we need to make and then we'll um, announce our lunch date and get it out to you all. Remember, this low board is going to be the first and the only low board of its kind on the internet right now. There is nothing else like it anywhere. It, this will be the first interactive networking low board featuring subscription monetization. Okay. Now, uh, if you don't, if y'all you know, if, if you don't know what subscription monetization is, each and every person that comes to this low board and subscribes to the low board. We have the option of making money by helping other people find loads. Every, every single person. And you have an actual networking group on the load board site where you can actually network with each other like our network does here. Um, get things answered. If you have questions. I mean, the best way to learn this industry and the best way to make money in this industry is to form connections. Communication is the key. Communication with, with your carrier. Communication with brokers. Communication with shippers and other individuals and um, 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 companies within with, with in this industry. That's the key to making money. I promise you that. I promise you that. Okay? Alright. Um, let's get on with our training. Alright. Today's training, we are going to be featuring U-Ship. For those of you who haven't gotten the, the U-Ship link, I'm going to pose it up here again. We're going to go to U-Ship. Oh, before I move on, any questions about our new um, 
commission structure and what you all need to do to get turned on to that if that's what you want to do. Um, you can send those emails over to training at drbbsllc.org and request that change in your subscription so we can get your subscription going and stop charging you that half of the um, dispatch fee when you book freight. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Anacho says, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Ansu, Ansu, um, if you got any Landstar connections, check with them. They usually have plenty of FEMA uh, freight. Exactly. Landstar, well, yeah, Landstar got plenty of FEMA freight because they, they got plugged into that FEMA thing, man. I'm, I'm still trying to get plugged into it, but, um, but you know, we got our dedicated freight, so that works for us. Uh, let's see here. Okay, but today we are on um, U-Ship. So I just sent you all out the U-Ship link. Um, if I'm, I'm, I'm considering giving you all access to our U-Ship account. I've been kind of holding off on that. I, I, let me check with the board first and see how they feel about that because uh, a lot of y'all don't know what you're doing yet. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just being, I'm, I, I, I'm being funny, but I'm being truthful, though, you know. You know, like they didn't say, for real, though, y'all don't know what y'all doing. <laughs> okay, so a lot of y'all don't know what you're doing yet. So if I give y'all access to our YouTube account, you're probably going to screw up our account. Um, and that's and that's a and that's a real big no-no. Um, but I'm gonna, if, if you want to become a member of YouShip, I don't think you need a DOT number. Charles, do you need a DOT number to join YouShip? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't dealt with them. Because um, cause I know regular people join you ship to post their stuff. That's what I'm saying. I don't think yeah. you need. So I, yeah, I would, I would. Well, with that being said, I don't think so. Then now, I don't think you need a DOT number to join you ship. But uh, you have the link there. Some of y'all can try it, and then uh, they will not let me join as a dispatcher. Well, don't tell them you're a dispatcher. <laughs> 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 what you said? Tell you this <laughs> uh, I'm not saying lie. I'm just saying just don't tell them. Don't you know? Don't don't don't, <laughs> don't just don't just uh, 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 offer the information. Uh, no, it's not the same thing. If you're joining a site and it says how do you want to join? Okay, I mean join as one of the what you call it. I mean. I mean, now when we joined, we joined back when we were brokers. So we had a, a, a DOT number and, and everything. So that's uh, that. That's when we joined. Um, it says here, if shippers can join, um, then you don't need a DOT number. And you're right, because people join you ship all the time. You know, people join you ship all the time. I have plenty of people, friends and students who join you ship, but they don't have a DOT number. Okay, but if you go in there and say, "Hey, big red bright letters and bright clothes," and say, "Hey, I'm a dispatcher," you know, "I'm a dispatcher. I want to join." Well, don't join as a dispatcher. Join as a private. Join as a private person. You know, join as a you know, just a private person. Join the site. Okay, um, 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 it could have just been the person I talked to. And you're right, it probably could have just been the person you talked to, but you know, uh, when I joined, uh, we were a broker, we were brokers, so we joined as brokers, and uh, you know, I guess they consider that shippers because we were, you know, we were owning freight. But here's the thing, if you, now I'm going to show you how to get around that. Same thing with, with Central Dispatch. But I know with Central Dispatch you have to have a DOT number or, or you have to be connected with the car industry. Okay? Here's what you need. Here, I'm, I'm going to give you all some pointers. What you, what you might want to consider is creating a, um, a company. Okay? Creating a support type of company. And that support type of company would be something like this. I created a support company called Calvin Butler, the Automotive Sales Specialist. 
Okay? Now, this is what we do as the automotive sales specialist. I created a company called Calvin Butler, the automotive sales specialist. Now, the automotive sales specialist, what I do as an automotive sales specialist, I put stuff out there, people contact me, and I help them get cars. I help them find cars, um, either some, some um, you know, hard to find luxury cars like the ones you see here, like my Range Rover, um, some special edition stuff. I help them find cars and I help them get the funding for it. Now part of helping them find cars and getting funding for those cars is arranging for transportation of, of the vehicle to their location. Okay, That's part of the services that we offer. We arrange shipment of your vehicle to your location. So if someone from California calls and says, hey, man, I'm looking for a 1968, such and such and such, you know, whatever, blah, 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 stingray with the dual headers on it, all that type of stuff. I say, man, it's kind of hard to find. Uh, let me do some research, and I'll call you back with a fee quote on what it's going to cost me to find that car for you. I find the car, I say, here's what I'm going to do. I, I think I can find that for you. If I find that for you, I need you to pay me 10% of whatever the price of the car is. Okay. Now, price, now, you all know that that's a very expensive car, whatever it is. Or someone calls me and says, hey, I need a, uh, I need a car. Um, you know, my credit is kind of not kind of good, and I've been having problems getting approved at the dealership. Because I have connections with literally thousands and thousands of dealerships across the country and places that fund cars themselves and special financing and things like that from my days back in the car business when I was a finance manager. I have contacts and things where I can help people get approved for cars. I can also show people how to raise their credit scores and help them to get themselves in a position to, to get approved for a car. Or I show them some other options with co-signers and things like this and other and car dealerships that are more likely to get approved. And from that, I get paid by the car dealership a referral fee, anywhere from two to $500 per person that I help get a car. And part of my service is arranging the shipment of that car from the dealership to their location. Now. If you have a support business like that, when you go to Central Dispatch, you can join Central Dispatch. It tells you here, you are either going to be brokers, carriers, or dealers and shippers. You're going to click dealer and shipper. Okay? And you go to Central Dispatch. That's what you're going to click. You're going to click dealer and shipper. All right? And then it tells you how it works for dealers and shippers. But that's what you're going to sign up on. Why? Because dealers don't need a DOT number. Dealers don't have DOT numbers or MC numbers or anything like that. But they join what? You ship. Because you are a support company. You are support. And then when you ship contact not you ship, when um uh when you do you ship too, when Central Dispatch contacts you, because everybody that joins Central Dispatch, you're gonna have to have some type of interview with them. Um, they're either going to contact you by email, they're going to call you up, or whatever the case may be. But you're going to contact them, and you're going to let them know that you are working with auto dealers, and your service helps people find cars that are hard to find, or people who have credit problems, help them to get approved for the car. And I, I find them in the dealership, I find them the right car, I help them get approved, and then I arrange for the shipment of that vehicle to their location. That's your way in. When you make that phrase, one of the services that we offer is the arrangement of shipment for vehicles that we've located for our customers to their location. Because you may have eight, nine customers out of California. So you may have eight, nine cars that you have arranged, that you've gotten from the auction for your clients that need to be picked up here in Florida or in Georgia or in Alabama or wherever it is, and all those cars need to go to California. You understand? This is your way in to Central Dispatch or U-Ship without a DOT number, without an MC number. I know it's a lot to kind of go through to set up a business and this and that. Really, it's not, though. IRS.gov takes two minutes to get your tax ID number. Okay? Two minutes, and it's free. Okay? You can establish your business name there, everything you need to do. Okay? You can set up your LLC. However you want to do it, that's going to bring you about $179. Yeah, unfortunately, that's just where that is. It's going to bring you about $179. Or you can take the cheap way out. You can set up your, you can get your tax ID number. You can go down to your local state or city municipality, 
file for your business license thing down there and get your little license thing to stick up on the wall for twenty nine dollars per year or whatever the case may be, whatever they charge you with your little with your little license number and stuff, and then you can just submit that to you ship or to Central Dispatch if they want proof of your business. Just just show them your business license. Business license only runs you about twenty anywhere from twenty to twenty nine dollars um, for the year. The little thing you stick up on the wall with, with your business license number. Okay, you are still a, you are licensed business in that city or state. Now, if you want to go and form your LLC and all that type of stuff, you can do it. You know, it runs you about one hundred seventy nine dollars. Okay, um, I use something called Rocket Lawyer is what I use to set up all my contracts and all my stuff like uh, things like that. But that's how you, but that's how you get access to it if you don't have an MC number deal term. Or you can take a real easy way out. Just ask one of your carriers. Say, hey. I'm trying to find you more ways of, of um, getting freight that needs to be moved, what it can be. Uh, can I use your DOT number to sign up on, on a couple of load boards and make them aware that they may be called and someone's going to ask them, say, hey, is this guy authorized to use your DOT number or is this guy uh, part of your, um, um, if they're part of, of your operation? Simple as that. Okay? Now, with that being said, anybody have a question? on how to get in on one of these, um, what's it called? Someone just gave, uh, and Sue just said, another way also is to get an auto dealer's license. You're exactly right. Even if the wholesale dealer license, even if a wholesale dealer's license, which can uh, be killing two birds with one stone, you make money on the car side and you get to join Central Dispatch. He's exactly right. Okay, he 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 is exactly right. All right, he's he's exactly right. So that's another way. Okay. So and thank you very much. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Is it Ansu or is it Anasu or Ansu? Okay, great. All right, no, I I hate to mispronounce people's names. <laughs> you know, uh, I I really do hate that. But um. Um, um, but yeah, he, but, he, but, but, but he's exactly right. Now, once you are in, once you are in, let's go here. I'll log in to Central Dispatch. See if it let, I'm going to see if I'll log in. So I'll log in may not even still work with Central Dispatch. Uh, so that I know we had left them for a long time. Nope, that login failed. Let's try another login. Uh, Let's try this one. I've got a bunch of logins. That login. But, okay, that one doesn't, that one failed. Okay, that's one that we, that's one that we canceled right there. Yeah, the council and did an interesting one. I need to go back in, um, redo my thing with uh, Central Dispatch. I don't, I don't do Central Dispatch a whole lot like when I first started. But I'm gonna I'm gonna give you all I'm gonna show you all how you can make money on 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 both sides of this. I'm gonna show you all how how you can make money on both sides of this. Um, I'm gonna click you into the broker side of it, okay? And it's gonna and this is a video that tells you all how to make money. I'm gonna send you all a link so you all can kind of watch it and hear it too. But this is how it works. But brokers, because essentially that's what you're going to be, uh, how you're going to be making money. Okay. All right. Now, let's go over to UShip. All right. First of all, well, first of all, let me explain this uh, for the new people. For the new people, okay, when you are using um, 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 Central Dispatch, if and when you get on to Central Dispatch, Central Dispatch is where most of your money in the auto hauling is going to be made. Okay. Now remember, Central Dispatch is set up for brokers and dealers. So you can't go on in and charge like what brokers and dealers do. You got to do it from a standpoint of a dispatcher, which means you've got to contact your the auto haul carriers. Okay, you got to contact the auto haul carriers, and you've got to pitch them on letting you find them freight. Okay, or or giving them the option of you sending them freight and let them know that, that you have access to car dealerships that needs a lot of freight move and you can probably offer them higher higher low fees 
than they would normally get. And the reason why, 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 why that is is this. When a car dealership um, has cars that need to be moved, car dealerships sell about, oh, I know the car dealerships here in Tallahassee, they move anywhere from 300 to 600 cars per month. That's a lot of cars that they sell. So if they're selling 300 to 600 cars per month, they've got to replace 300 to 600 cars per month. I'm talking about used cars. I'm not talking about new cars. I'm talking about used car dealerships. The used car dealerships here in town, even some of the smallest ones sell 300 cars per month. The largest one is going to teeter around five, six, seven hundred cars per month. So if they're selling that many cars, they've got to replace that many cars every single month. They get the bulk of those cars from the auction. Yes, a lot of those cars come from trading in, but the bulk of those come from the auction, which is down in Fort Lauderdale in the Miami area. Okay? And they usually order somewhere between 10 and 20 cars every single week that needs to be moved up from the auction. 10, 20. I, sometimes I've seen a load for 30 or for 30 to 40 cars. All had to come to a, up, up to the same dealership. Now, the way this works on Central Dispatch is this. Central Dispatch has a network or has a system of where they monitor where carriers come in. Or these are all the auto hauls. They come in and they list themselves available. Okay. Dealerships or someone like myself or a broker will contact the dealer and say, hey, Mr. Dealer, how you doing? I have access to hundreds of auto haulers who are ready to move your cars, get to transport your cars at a moment's notice. In other words, I can get your cars here fast. If you have a situation where you need your cars here quick, because car dealerships do need their cars to come in as fast as possible once they pay for them. Because once they pay for them, they're losing money on them because they're sitting there and they're not at their shop and gotten ready to be put out on the lot so that they can start making money. So they need to get them to their car lot as soon as possible. A lot of times dealers, when I talk to dealers, they ask me, I've got a load that needs to be here by Monday and the day is Saturday. Okay, my, my load needs to be here by Monday. And they say, uh, okay, you want me to get your load, how, how many cars you need? I, I got a credit cars that are stuck in Miami and then I need to get them up here by Monday. All right, I got it. I can guarantee you. Here's how the negotiation goes with them. I can guarantee you. I can get those loads here on Monday for you at four hundred dollars a car. Now a lot of you probably say, "Damn, that's high." You're right. It is high, but because he needs me on Monday, it's Saturday. It's Saturday, so I, you got to find a carrier that's going to run out there, grab those loads today and tomorrow, because it's going to take them multiple trips to bring all those cars down. The largest auto haul carrier is going to have about space for 11 cars. Okay, the average carrier auto haul trailers range from seven to nine cars. Some of the nice ones, 11 cars, but that's the most you're going to get on any auto haul carrier, and that's if they're all mid-sized, mega-sized cars. If you have SUVs, it's going to cut down that space. Okay, because you're not going to have as you know, maybe better put as many SUVs on there. Or if you've got some SUVs and some cars, you're still not going to be able to get a lever because those SUVs are going to take up a space and a, a is going to take up a space and, and a quarter. So that's how that works. All right. So you tell him, I can guarantee I can get those cars down here to you for four hundred dollars per car. He's going to say, you, I got carriers that do it for one sixty-five, one seventy-five. Yeah, but those carriers normally get them to you in. I right, take them about three or four days. Okay, you don't have three or four days. You don't have to. You need to get in here now, right? Yeah, all right. I can get in here for you by Monday at $400 a car. That's a little bit too steep, okay? So what were you thinking? Well, how about let's do it for a uh, $250 a car? Uh, $250 is not going to make it. I mean, come on. I mean, I, I still got to pay the carrier. The carrier still got to get his money. You got to make it worth it to the carrier to grab your car now. I mean, if he's got another car dealership out there that's paying him $300 a car, and he's looking at yours paying $250 a car, which one do you think he's going to grab this weekend? All right? I mean, you know how this game works. They say, okay, well, let's do $299 to $300 a car. All right, great. $300 a car it is. All right, now you've got a $300 car. Now, auto carriers are used to, they're normally used to only running for about what? One sixty five, one seventy five, maybe two hundred dollars a car, two twenty five a car. Why? Because 
Ninety percent of all the business they get are coming from brokers who are keeping the majority. They're keeping half that money. They are keeping half the money. Most brokers take half of the money that they get in from car dealerships to move cars. The broker has negotiated with the dealership to move those cars at three hundred dollars a car. He's offering the auto hauler a hundred and fifty dollars a car. Yes, it may be twenty cars or thirty cars, hundred fifty dollars a car. That's still a lot of money. But here's how you can come in and kind of undercut everyone and guarantee that you're going to get the auto hauler. And I'm going to show you how you can use that same system to cherry pick on you ship and just cherry pick runs and just make all the money on it and be guaranteed to get those loads. All right. Because you're acting as a dispatcher, you're not taking half of, of the auto hauler's fee. Okay. So if you negotiate with the dealership, at $300 a car, you can offer that auto haul that $300 a car minus 20% because you're getting paid a percentage of what? The fee. So if you've got, let's do some math here. Anybody want to be, who has, a, who has a calculator? Let's break out the calculators. Let's break out the calculators. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break the calculator out here. Give me a second. Let me get rid of some stuff and break out the calculator. Let me break out the calculator. All right, calculator. All right, here we go. 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 Pull this back up. How do I do this and not get rid of my calculator? All right, we're gonna have to do it this way. Let's pull this back up. All right, here we go. All right, you got the calculator here. We got we got the calculator here. All right, let's figure twenty cars. You got twenty cars, right? Times three hundred dollars a car. Times 300. 20 cars times $300 a car. That's $6,000. Okay? Minus 20%. So you're going to make 1200 bucks. Now, people, that's a lot of money for a load. That's your pay. $1,200. Okay? Versus a broker keeping what? $3,000. So normally when they have that, what happens? What happens? Because now remember, what normally happens is what? You've got that $6,000, right? But the broker is taking half that. So that means that the carrier, instead of having, you know, minus 1200 bucks, he is now minus, uh, yeah, instead of minus Minus 1200 bucks, that minus 1200, which would be your pay, the carrier would get 4800 bucks. But the carrier is only used to getting on loads like that, what? $3,000. Why? Because the carrier kept half of it. Not the carrier, the broker kept half of it. So that carrier is only used to getting about $3,000. You're offering that carrier a lot more money. Okay? A lot more money. $4,800, right? So that's actually, that, that's what gives you your advantage. Does everyone see the advantage that you're going to be offering the carrier by offering him more money? Now, here, now here's another thing. You can actually get paid, you can actually have the carrier pay a lot faster. Why? Because you can tell the carrier, say, look, you're going to get paid on the drop. In, in, in other words, the carrier is not going to have to wait for, for their money. When they deliver that last car to the dealership, the dealership is going to cut them a check for their 4800 So you can have it already worked out with the dealership to have them to cut a check to the carrier for the 4800 okay, which is what? They're 80% of the load fee, of the load. So they get their 4800 at the dealership. And then you invoice the dealer for your twelve hundred, and the dealer pays you your other twelve hundred. It is just, it really is just that simple. Okay. Now, how can you make this work with you ship? First of all, does everyone understand what we just did there with Central Dispatch and showing you? Does everyone understand that? All right. And Sue says, yes, she understand. they understand it. 
All right. The rest of y'all are quiet. I don't like this quiet stuff. Y'all gonna make me. Y'all gonna make me start singing now. Either y'all gonna either talk up or we gonna sing. <laughs> what y'all gonna do? Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Nisha Clay says yes, sir. She understands. All right, great. All right, great, 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 great. Now we got some people talking. I don't have to sing for y'all. All right. So that's how you can. Um, <laughs> that's how you. Charles, he'll be right back. Um, he, he's got to go make some money. Uh, uh, you know, when you, when you get busy like Charles, boy, you, you, like me, you ain't got no time. You gotta find that break. Uh, um, but anyway, uh, exactly. <laughs> Charles says exactly. You gotta go make that money. Uh, but, um, but look, and you can make a ton of money here on Central Dispatch and on UShip. Okay? Um, $1,200, they ain't nothing to laugh at. Okay? Even if you only got, you know, a load of 10 cars. If you're getting a load of ten, or let's say nine cars, uh, well, let, well, let's say ten cars, because a carrier can carry um, ten cars. You got ten cars, and you do three hundred dollars part at three thousand dollars. If you're taking twenty percent of that, what's that? That's three hundred. Taking six hundred bucks, so six hundred bucks is yours, and he still is getting his what? His twenty four hundred on ten cars, which is more than he normally gets. Because normally on ten cars, if he was getting three thousand dollars, he would only be getting fifteen hundred dollars. Is what that carrier would normally get. And see, that's the difference there. And the carrier normally has to wait until the broker sends him his money, which could be three, four, five days later, or a week later, or two weeks later, whatever the case may be. But in this case, your carriers get paid the same day they drop their loads. That's a huge advantage. Carriers love COD, cash on drop, or cash on delivery. We call it, in the industry, we call it cash on drop. Okay, they love that. Any dispatcher or firm that's offering them cash on the drop, they're going to jump all over you. They're going to be ready to run your loads because you're offering them cash on the drop. And that's what you can offer. And then you pretty much guarantee your money because you're getting paid from the dealership okay, for arranging that load. Now, how do we make this work with you ship? All right. The, how we make it work with you ship is by this. First of all, you must understand that in central dispatch, the way it's set up is if you have a, uh, trucks that are running in certain lanes, let's say if you've got a truck that's traveling that's on its way from Miami up to California, but you've got somebody on you ship that has a car that needs to be picked up in Miami, okay? So when you're looking for a car on you ship, when you go to you ship, you're going to put in uh, pick up Miami. Pick up Miami, Florida. All right, and there you go. It's pulling up all these things that are available to Miami. And, and what's the first one on there? Miami to California. There it is right there. Miami to California. Okay, but let's just see if you've got some stuff going to California. you got stuff, stuff going to California, all right, for Miami to California. See what we got. Here are the loads. Here are cars. Well, let's put down here cars. Uh, let's do the categories, uh, first of all. Categories, let's say vehicles and boats, light cars and trucks. There we go. Let's, all right, let's narrow that down. All right, cars that need to be picked up in Miami going to California, if, you, if that's what you're looking for. All right, so you see here, here's one that, uh, uh, here, here are some quotes. Now, you're looking at these quotes, you notice here you got quotes, one car, $1,995. All right. That's, a, that's the last quote that they got on that, on that one. Okay? So there it is. One car, which is a 2016 GMC Yukon. The last quote that they got was someone saying that they could move it for $1,995. From here to San Francisco. Okay? Now, here's the great thing about, I'm going to show you all how to use you ship and Central Dispatch to where you can guarantee that you're going to get, that you're going to win this bid. Because see, the, the, the thing about you ship is, is this. It is a lowest bid win type of site. Okay? The lowest bid win. So in normal operations, brokers can't make no money on you ship. A broker cannot make money on you ship if he is following normal procedures of normal operation. 
If you're not thinking outside the box like we are, a broker cannot make money on you ship. Why? Because it's the lowest bid wins. You understand? Now, because it's the lowest bid wins, that is your advantage. I'm going to show you how to flip that around to your advantage. Okay, the art of war. Turning a what? Turning your dis turning a disadvantage into an advantage. Turning your weakness into your strength. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn everyone else's weakness into our strength. And the way we do that is combining uh, central dispatch along with you ship. Why? Because what, central, what does Central Dispatch do? Central Dispatch has vehicles, monitored vehicles that are in that route, that are on that lane. Vehicles, every vehicle. So when you go to that customer and you say to them, I can do this run for, for you for, instead of doing it for $19.95, I can, I'm going to do a bid. You put in a bid for, let's say, half that. All right, if you put in a bid of 900, 900 bucks. Or $1,000. Let's say you can do it for $1,000. That's going to undercut the lowest bidder by $995. That's almost a $1,000 undercut. Your pretty much guaranteed to get that run. And you're going to be guaranteed to get someone to pick that run up. Why? Because when you get that run, you're going to go back to Central Dispatch and you're going to say, I got a vehicle, uh, 2016 GMT Yukon XL that needs to be picked up in Miami. Right? And we are paying a thousand dollars minus our eighty percent minus our twenty percent fee. So we are paying what? When you go to when you go to U ship, when you go to central dispatch, when you set up your central dispatch contract, so you're gonna have to set your contract up, your contract's gonna be that eighty percent of all the fees of, of all the loads that we post going goes to the auto hauler. So they know that you're gonna get twenty percent. You're also gonna put in your contract on you ship that all loads are paid at the drop. Okay? D O D uh um, C O D and and C you have C O D and you have fifty percent advanced pay. I'm gonna show you how the fifty percent advanced pay is gonna work for you. These are all things that are that are gonna help guarantee that, that 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 person is gonna take your bid on you ship over everyone else. And how you can guarantee a carrier is gonna pick that load up. Because what's going to happen is when you post that, first of all, you got a load that's paying way more than what these trucks normally make to move a load, right? and you got guaranteed pay at the pickup and at the drop. Okay, so that puts you in the driver's seat right there. Because what a carrier normally, if you got a carrier that's running from Miami, let's say that load is picking up in Miami, you got a carrier that's just leaving Miami, and he's got 11 car haulers. But he only has nine cars on his truck, on his trailer, or seven cars on his trailer. Those cars are all on there at rates of what? 150, 125, 175 at the most, maybe 250 to $300 per car. Here it is, you're offering him a chance to pick up another what? $800, right? And just to just add another car onto his truck the way he already has space going in the same direction of where he's going that's on his route. Anybody think carriers are not going to be knocking down your door to grab that one truck? Of course they will. They're going to have multiple carriers contact you and say, hey, I'm in Fort Lauderdale. Hey, I'm in such and such. I'm headed that way right now. Hey, I'm down here in Miami right now. I'm getting ready to leave, headed out towards California. Where's that vehicle at? I'll pick that up. Why? Because they want that extra 800 bucks. That's, a, that's quick, easy money for them. And you have carriers that are running loads all the time. They have space on their vehicle. That's why Central Dispatch is so popular. It allows for people to move vehicles and move stuff and put it on carriers that already are going that way. And all they have to do is stop off pick that one up, load that one up, and make a quick hundred, uh, add another $150, $200, $300 to their load. When we have an opportunity to add another what? In this instance, another $800 to their load. Or you can do $1,000 to their load, and that way you can undercut it by $700 some odd dollars to give them, uh, that'll give the carrier a full grand and still give you what? Your 20%, 300 bucks.
on that. And and through using that system, you can cherry pick stuff on you ship all day long. You can cherry pick all day long. You can have it set up. You can tell the customers, say, look, when the carrier picks the load up, half has to be paid um, to the carrier when they load the vehicle up. And you'll pay the other half when the carrier drops your vehicle in California. You see the advantage there? You're offering the carrier what? A 50% advance. You're offering the carrier a 50% advance. No one else is going to be able to offer, no one else is even thinking about doing it that way. So you're offering the carrier a 50% advance. So now the carrier, if you're offering them a thousand dollars, let's say if you undercut this by nine hundred, let's say by by seven hundred some odd dollars, and you're going to get the carrier a thousand dollars, you're going to tell the um, and you can get your money up front. Okay, you can get your money up front because you can because you can say, look, half of this has to be paid in advance. Okay, or you can have it where you just tell them to look, twenty percent of this it has to be paid. As a booking fee. That 20% is your money. That's your cut, right? 20% in a pre in a booking fee. Right? So they pay you 20% in the booking fee. Right? They go in and book the load on the carrier, carrier picks the load up, and that money is to be paid at pickup. So when they pick the load up, you go ahead and bill the um the customer 20%. And you get your three hundred dollars up front. You got your money. Carrier runs a load, and the carrier gets paid at the drop. Carrier has his money. He drops a load. They're gonna give him the rest of the money. Plain and simple. Anyone have any questions on that? Anyone have any questions? Does everyone understand how you can use these two platforms, these two websites, these two platforms in conjunction? And make a ton of money in moving cars. If you don't understand that, or if you disagree with me, say, Calvin, you full of shit, and just let me know, or just, or just come on and let me know you understand. Any questions on that? I don't want to say you're full of shit, nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when you're dealing with the carrier, if he asks for uh, uh, money to use to run. What do you say to him? What do you mean money to, to use for run? In other words, he's looking for an advance also. Well, I mean, first of all, these are auto haulers. These are not normal loads. These are auto haul loads. Okay? Carriers in the auto haul business, they're used to getting paid by the broker. Right? Which means they get their money long after they drop the load. Is that correct? Yes. All right, so aren't you offering them advance by offering them cash on drop? Okay, yeah. I mean, they, I yeah. mean, they, I mean you're you, advancing, you know, yeah, you're I'm, advancing I'm, all, yeah, look, look, you're advancing all their pay on cash on drop. These carriers normally don't get paid that way. They get, they have to get paid by the broker, so the broker has to wait till he gets his money from the dealership, and then the broker sends to carry his money. That could be four, five days, sometimes a week later. You're offering them an opportunity to get paid their money when they and drop the load. Exactly. As soon as, as soon as they hit that dealership and drop the loads off, that dealer's going to come out and say, hey, you're going to miss care. <laughs> go give them a check. Right there on the spot. Why? Because dealerships got, they got their, they can do that because they write checks all the time. Okay. And if you're dealing with a private owner, it's the same thing. The private owner is going to bring the carry his money. Sometimes they may bring it out in just cash. Here you go. Thanks for, thanks for dropping on my vehicle. What is he going to do? Tell the carrier I'm not going to pay you? What is going to do? Not unload his vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> right? You're right about and, that. And if you're dealing with the private individual, you can get your money up front at the pickup. Mm. Just tell them. Just tell them, say, because with this low, with this low bid, but the reason why I'm bidding so low, because I'm requiring that you give 20% at pickup. And then you pay the other 80% directly to the carrier when he drops your car. What have you done? Okay. You've, got your, you've got your money up front, and you've got the carrier, his advance, or paying his money on the drop. 
Now, if you want to offer the carrier an advance, you say that we can offer you a 30% advance, right? So we can offer you a 30% advance at pickup. In, in, in other words, when the carrier picks up the load, right, we're telling the, we, we're going to tell the, um, the private owner we need 50% at pickup and the other half pay at drop-off. If you got a carrier that just got to have money to run the load. You should, you understand what I'm saying? But that's I'm what I'm you, but, but, but I'm telling you, that's how it, that, that situation will never arise when you explain to them that they're getting paid at the drop. But if it does arise, all you got to do is have your customer to pay you half on pickup and the other half on drop. Why would the customer be willing to pay this? Why? Because you bid it, you, you saved them over almost $1,000. Because on this bid, the lowest one was $1,995. That was out of five quotes. Now, you won't come in. Now, they've probably been, been nipping at this, you know, $100 less here, $100 less. Here, you're going to come in. You're going to knock off $700 off just rip. Boom, chop the head off of $700. Bucks. Gotcha. You think you think that customer's not gonna jump all over that? Yeah, he is. The <laughs> customer's gonna jump all over that. Now, because you knocking the head off seven hundred bucks, the stipulations um um to to that big price drop. That big that big price cut comes with fifty percent pay in advance on pickup. So you go ahead and build a customer fifty percent. They pay you that fifty percent. You go ahead and shoot the the what the carrier his thirty percent of that. You keep your three hundred dollars and you shoot him the rest, right? You got it. I got you now. And then, and then the carrier gets the rest of his money when he drops his load. Now, and thanks for the question. Great question, by the way. Um, 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 as you all can see, you know, using this system and this and this is all part of what we try to get y'all do. Just Learn to think outside the box. Think outside the box. When you learn to think outside the box, you can find ways of creating what everyone else sees as a disadvantage, and you can create it to your advantage. Um, Answer says you can also make some money off the carrier by advancing the carrier an additional three to five percent for making instant money available to her. You can. I normally don't do that. Because then, that, then they start seeing me like a factory company, and I'm not even trying to get into all that mess. I mean, you can, but I just keep it simple, stupid. But hey, this is what I offer. I'm not even going to charge you one. I'm not even going to charge you more money on, on that. Why? Because I want that carry to keep coming back to me each, each and every single time. I was just going to say that. He's going to appreciate you. Oh, yeah. You want that carry to come back each and every single time? Because you're doing something that no one else is doing. I mean, no one else operates that way, but you do. And they're gonna and they're going to remember you for it. They're gonna always say, "Oh yeah, J and J dispatching. Oh yeah, they're the ones that be paying that big money on them on the runs, man, for for running that um those cars and stuff." But you can see and cherry pick all day long. You can, you can come here. You can just cherry pick. You can just cherry pick stuff off, off of you ship. I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, uh, you know. You you can cherry pick stuff off of you ship all day long. You can just go here. Let's say, um, look at all these loads. Look at look, look at all these loads leaving off of you ship. Let's go through some of them. Here's one here that's picking up in Orange Park, Florida, going to San Francisco, California. Um, it's a Hyundai. It's a Honda Civic. One thousand four hundred and twenty nine dollars. That's the lowest quote. I chop the four hundred dollars off the head of that and say a thousand dollars. That's what I do. Here's another one. One we just looked at in nineteen ninety five. Here's another one for thirteen hundred and sixty nine dollars. I go ahead and cut that down to about eight, 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 about eight hundred bucks off the rip. And that'll just cut everybody else out. That'll just end that quote process right there. Just nip it in the bud. Like Barney Fight said, let's do, let's do some bud nip. You gotta nip it in the bud and you gotta nip it in the bud. So let's do let's do some bud nip. It. All right, I come down here and I grab this one right here. It's got three quotes. It's saying two thousand one hundred and and thirty five dollars for a Toyota Tundra. Guess what? I chop off a thousand dollars off that off real. Here's another one for twenty five on uh, uh, forty seven. They've had ten quotes, 
10 quotes, okay? 2002, Chevrolet Silverado. Pick it up in West Palm Beach, Florida, heading down to Paloma, California. 10 quotes, and they're only down to $2,547. Now, what's going to happen if you just go in there and just rip their guts out and knock off 1200 bucks or knock off $1,000 off that off rip? You think you're going to end that quote process? Yeah, I do. You're going you're gonna to bring that to a close real quick. Yes, and sir. You're gonna, and you're going to make good money. If you knock off $1,000, that still leaves, what, $1,500 left. The only thing you got to watch out for is where these towns are in relationship to each other. Well, you know what? That doesn't really matter because Central Dis Dispatch is going to make that determination for you. Because remember, on Central Dispatch, when you put the load, when you post a load on Central Dispatch, it's only going to the only vehicles that's going to see it are those that are in that lane already, that are going in that direction or going right past that route, they're going within 75 miles of that location. You understand? Okay. What about if they, they can't put no time on there neither, right? What do you mean, put no time on it? And say it's got to be there in a certain amount of time. Well some, well, some shippers, some of the private owners will tell you that. They'll tell you that. But if you've got a carrier, because remember, these are over-the-road haulers. Chances are... Their drop is going to be before the carrier's uh, main drop. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to be along that route. All right? So the carrier, already, the, carrier knows, the carrier already has his stuff set up. He knows that he's running. He's got a load that he's running up to California already. He's running low up to California already. He's got space for three more vehicles on his, on his trailer. The loads he has on his truck... He's being paid anywhere from $150 to $300 per car. Those are the seven loads he has on his car he has on his truck right now. Right? Okay. He got, three, he got space for three more vehicles. You are offering him $1,000 or $1,200 to pick up one more car, right, without having to go out of his way. Just swing by, pick this car on your way. It's on your way. So when he gets it, he's only going to show the carriers that are in route that haven't passed by that location yet. So the okay. carriers that con so all the carriers that contact you are going to be ones who are in the Miami area or in the Palm Beach area or, in, or they're traveling that way, but they haven't gotten to Palm Beach yet. You understand what I'm saying? They haven't gotten to Palm Beach or Fort Lauderdale or wherever that car needs to be picked up. They haven't gotten there yet. So they're on their way and they're in that route. And their route is taking them past where that car needs to be dropped off at. So there's, no so, so there's no inconvenience for anyone. That's the beauty of Central Dispatch and U-Ship. By combining both of those, you can turn a lowest bid site into your greatest moneymaker. All they got to do is just have the carriers. Exactly, which is Central Dispatch. So if you've got both Central Dispatch and U-Ship <laughs> using this system, thinking outside of the box, and using the system that we just presented to you all, you can make all the money you ever want to make. Because every single bidder on here, you're going to be able to cut their throats as far as the bidding process on, on U-Ship. No one's going to be able to compete with you. I mean, who's going to be able to compete with you? Look, look at these bids, man. Seven quotes, $1,379. Twelve hundred twenty-seven dollars, fourteen ninety-five. The lowest one on here right now is nine hundred, and you can still underquote that. From Jacksonville, Florida to Davis, California, nine hundred bucks. Take twenty percent for nine hundred, and ninety times two—that's what—that's one hundred and eighty dollars. So you can often carry what seven hundred and twenty bucks for running mm. one car for picking up a Nissan GT and dropping it off on his way to California. When he, when every other, when all the other cars on his truck, he's only getting paid one hundred and fifty to two or three hundred dollars a car. Hmm. I mean, come on, man. I'm surprised <laughs> nobody else thought about that. Yeah, see, that's, that, that, that's like the guy that came up with the little. Uh, he, 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 you know those little notepads, the stickers. Those yeah. Little, little yellow and blue and green notepads. 
Stick right? them. Yeah. How many times someone else probably said, I'm surprised nobody else thought of that. <laughs> hmm. Innovation. There's a, there's a funny thing about innovation. A lot of people have probably thought about it. No one ever put it, but only, but only one person or a few people put it into action. That's what allows them to capitalize on it and make so much money. No, and, that a lot, I do. and a lot of people don't spend enough time thinking about this stuff like I do. I mean, people just don't sit around thinking about ways to make money in the logistics industry. Well, I do. <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do 24 7. And I pass that along to you all. That's the business that we're in. We are in the business of showing you how to think creatively, think outside the box, and make money. That's why our platform is completely different from any other training platform out there. Let me repeat that because it deserves to be repeated. Our platform is completely different from any other platform in the industry when it comes to training, consulting, and teaching you how to make money from home and booking freight from home using our platform. No one else is doing this. No one else is taking the time every Saturday to spend three hours with their students. No one else is setting up a, a chat group, a network, where all of the students go there and you all can help each other to make money and find those and understand this industry. No one else is paying for all of your tools and resources. <coughs> no one else is doing that. And now, no one else is offering you all the opportunity to keep 100% of your dispatch fee and just pay a $19.95 subscription from here on out. Look, every day I am conferencing with our board members and other individuals to find new ways and better ways to make our platform better to increase you all's revenue and to help you all be more successful. Okay, that's, that's, that's the name of the game for us. That's the business that we're in. Okay, um, that's the business that we're in. We looked at it and we have enough students where we have made enough money right now that we can afford to go the subscription route. That you all keep your full 10% if that's what you choose to do. Some of y'all won't do that. Some, 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 some of you all are, who are still kind of nervous about this are going to say, well, until I start booking some freight, um, I'm going to stay at this right here. Well, that's true, but let's make something clear. Once you, once you decide on which route you want to go, you got to stick to that for at least six months before you can change. Because here's what we don't want. We don't want people calling up or sending their stuff and having our interns having to switch them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. No, 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 no. That ain't going to happen, okay? <laughs> That's not going to happen. Well, you, well, one month you want to do this, the next month you want to do that, the next month, no. Mm-hmm. Once you decide which one you want to take, it has to be a, you have to keep it in place for at least six months. So if you choose the subscription route, that stays in place for six months. If you choose the route of giving up half your, uh, your dispatch fee, that stays in place for six months. Okay? So uh, that is really going to cause you all to sit back and assess, okay, what can I really do with this platform? Based on all the stuff that, that, that they are giving us, all the stuff that they are affording us, back off of site, access to a um, 19 million plus shippers, access to um, um, several paid load boards, access to, to 91 free load boards, access to a network of individuals that are there to help me to find loads and to make this work, access to more than 4,000 hours of training videos on YouTube, access to three hours of training, live training every Saturday, and a two-hour um, Q&A session every Saturday uh, morning. Now, if you can take all that and say to yourself, yeah, I can make money with that, you best go to 1995 Why? Because that's the difference between you making $3,000 per month and $6,000 per month. Or, like you see here, if you're booking at least 8 to 10 loads per, per week, that's the difference between 9, 10, and 15 grand uh, per month right here, 13 grand per month on 51 loads, 51 loads, 13 grand, grand per month. That's only about eight loads per week. 
eight loads per week. Charles Money did almost twice that in one day. I've got other students that are doing that, you know, five, six, four loads constantly. Like the Charles, he, he consistently books four or five loads a day. So if this eight loads a week, 51 loads for the month, brought me $13,852. Cause why? Because I'm getting the full 10%. Now, if that was you on that half split uh, program that we have in place right now, that was, you would only get half that, which is about 6,500 bucks. That's a big difference, right? That is a big difference, a huge difference in your revenue. Okay. So this business is not hard it it it, it 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 really isn't once you have a system and you work a system we think outside the box so and we've done this enough that we can show you things that work for us this is what i mean by practicality this is what i mean by practical training not book training not lane rates not the science not what the terms and regulations and rules and regulations and all that stuff that's what everybody else teaches if that's what they want to teach, fine. My only problem with that is they, they tell you it's something else when it really is, that's all it is. They need you to believe that they're going to teach you how to make money. We show you how to make money. We show you how to make money. Okay? Everyone else is showing you. I don't know, I don't know what they're showing you. They're teaching you lane rates. They're teaching you terms and terminology and rules and regulations. My thing is this, if that's what you're teaching, just say that's what you're offering. Don't offer a platform under a under the guidelines of that, hey, we're going to be showing you how to make money when actually you really don't show them how to make money. You're not providing your students with any tools or resources. You're not providing them with any type of practical application. You're not providing them with any type of network or ongoing support. Then why are they paying you two to five thousand dollars? Our platform is still the most affordable one out there, hands down, up or down, sideways, no matter how you look at it. For everything that we offer, our platform is extremely affordable. Okay, um, Kenan says, how long are you giving you to think about the ten percent deal? Uh, if you're going to do your, um, if you're going to do your subscription, you need to let us know. Uh, for all of our students who are in right now, for all of our students who are currently with us right now, if you are currently with us right now, from today's date, so market, from today's date, you're going to have 15 days to decide if you want to switch your account over to the subscription or you want to leave it at the, what you call it, for the next six months. Okay? For the next six months. In six months, in six months, we will give you the option, we will give you another 15-day grace period to decide. So every six months, we will have a 15-day grace period where you can switch your account over. But what we don't want to have is people just switching back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. At a one another. Then that's going to bog us down, and we're not going to be able to get anything done. Okay, you understand? So okay. from today, you got 15 days from today. Um, is the window of opportunity to switch your account over. Okay? Now, for those of you who are who have just gotten into this and you're looking at this, if you know you can book freight, if you've been in the industry for a minute, and if you know you can book freight, and if you know that by following this system, if you got your carriers in place, this and that <laughs> if you want to give up half your money, fine, I'll take it. <laughs> I mean I I, I would take it. I think half your money. Uh, I think it's fast. I think with, it, with everything that we offer, but I want you to take advantage of what of of the increased revenue stream that we're offering you too. Okay, we want you to take advantage of, of that as well. So, um, but anyway, that's what we offer. All right. Any questions on you ship on 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 this platform with you ship and how you can cherry pick on you ship all day long and make money from from you ship and central dispatch any questions on that uh, one question. i got one question uh yeah. 
at Central Dispatch. You says you, you can um, hit one part of that to get your carriers and uh, sign you up a bunch of carriers. On Central Dispatch? Yeah. Well, see, on Central Dispatch, here, here's how it works on Central Dispatch. You can load up your dispatch agreement on Central Dispatch, right, once you get in, load up your contract. They call it your contract, your carrier mm -hmm. contract. Every carrier that comes to it, and if they agree to run your load, they're agreeing to your terms on, on Central Dispatch. You understand what I'm saying? So remember, auto hauling is not like regular um, shipping. It's com completely different. Completely it's different. almost like LTL. Exactly. As they, as in the, on the other side of it, not auto hauling, you have to have an agreement in place already before you can start buying your carrier's freight. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But because of the way, but because of the way Central Dispatch is set up and the way the auto hauling business is set up, is different. In the auto hauling business, or if you, through using Central Dispatch, you have to post your contract terms on Central Dispatch. Every carrier that looks at your loads, they, they have a thing where they, they can click and see your contract terms. Where well, you're going to tell them you're going to get paid well, at drop. We pay you at the drop. We pay you at, we pay you at 80% of the posted rate at drop. That's your cut. The other 20% we keep. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So you have that on Central Dispatch. All right? That's your contract. It's already spelled out on Central Dispatch when they look at your loads. You, you did, so when they're doing the, the so when you have a car that's picked up for a dealership, you got your contract there that says that they are paid on the drop. If you're posting a load, a car that's about a one car move from a private, what you call it, you're going to let them know that what? They're paid at the drop, right? Or they receive half their money or 30% at pickup and the other 70% at drop, right? Yeah, okay. So you're laying out your agreement. So you don't need to have a um, 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 a a separate dispatch agreement because you're not going to be dispatching with the same carrier all the time. You understand? Okay, all right. I see. And, and you, 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 you got to have an agreement with the carrier before you even start. Am I right? Not using Central Dispatch because Central Dispatch is going to have your agreement posted. You know, that's oh. the difference between you don't have to send the carrier a dispatch agreement because your agreement is already on Central Dispatch for each load that, that you're posting. Okay. I hope I'm, I'm making that clear. Oh, no. Uh, no. When I, I, have, I, I, I just sent you a link to the uh, how this works just when you play this video on Central Dispatch. Okay. I don't. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Could y'all hear that? No, I couldn't. Okay. All right. Well, you have to go to the link and watch the video. Go to the link and watch the video and see how it works. But yeah, you put in. You're gonna load up your information. You're gonna load up your your contracts, right? And I I have two contracts. One for the one car move that I'm, that I'm getting stuff off of you ship, and one for car dealerships. When I'm having, having stuff move for car dealerships, okay? Okay, my that's car, on a, yeah, that's I on have, a blue platform, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, 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 well, well, this is in Central Dispatch A and U ship. Um, uh, we could create a dispatch. We can create an agreement that you all can put on there. I'll pull one up for you all and put it on the and put it in the back office so that you all can can kind of look at it and form off of how I would deal if that's what you want to do. Okay? Um, but you're going to have one contract for the uh, shippers, for the uh, auto haul, for the car dealerships, and a separate contract for the one car moves from private individuals. And all you're doing is when you post that, when you post that load on there, you're going to load up with it which contract goes with it. Plain and simple. When you post the load from the dealership, when you've got 20 cars that need to be picked up, you're going to post the dealership contract you have on there. You're going to post that um, contract on that load posting. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. 
And then when you have a one car move, you're going to post the contract for the one car move on that lower post. You got it? Do, yes, I do. All right, great. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. And Sue says, is there a simple example contract dispatch agreement for auto hauling like we have with the regular freight? Like I just said, we'll try to get one uh, for you all into the back office. Um, we had not been using because we had not been doing the auto hauling um, as a platform, but uh, I do understand that a lot of you all have an interest in the auto hauling. We're just coming on and showing you that if you do have an interest in the auto hauling, we're going to show you how to take full advantage and make plenty of money in the auto hall. Um, we're going to show you how you can go in and pretty much just, you know, kind of just take over, really, uh, especially when it comes to U-Ship. Because so U-Ship is the lowest bid. Every broker will tell you that they stay off of U-Ship. They don't work U-Ship. Why? Because it's the lowest bid win. And no <laughs> broker even wants to deal with the lowest bid win. But we'll show you how you can take that and turn it to your advantage. Hmm. Just I'm, by thinking outside the box. I'm surprised they ain't thought about it. I really am. Well, it's a big world, and everybody don't think the way I do. That's all I can tell you. Everybody don't think the way I do. Uh, my wife tells me, say, my wife tells me, say, boy, you crazy. Yeah, I know, but you love it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, uh, Manny says, Manny the the Castro, the Castro says, I have a question on the U ship call. Okay, ask your question, Manny. You want to unmute yourself and and great, right, uh, Calvin. How you doing today? Great, 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 great. Uh, my question is is just the process. So we're gonna find these people on U ship, just like you just showed, mm -hmm. and then we're going to uh, put it in central dispatch. What are the chances? That there's somebody not doing that, for example, that Miami, the California lane, and you get stuck having to move a car and you don't have a hauler. What do you mean you get stuck and you don't have a car? If you if you have to win the bid on you ship first before you ever post anything, correct? Yeah. So now you got a contract. Now yeah, I yeah. got to find a, a a a car hauler. My question is, being so new to this business. Is there that many car haulers going from Miami all the way to California every day? How do I, how do we even find well, that without well, having that contract? Well, let's, that, did we just do that? All right, pick up. Hold up. Let me show you all here. Did we just, did we not just do that? I'm talking about seeing, seeing who's available on Central Dispatch. Central Dispatch is what worries me. Oh, not okay. Fi not no, finding right, these look. cats. I can look, find look, them, look, just look, like you showed perfectly. Look, 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 look. When you go to Central Dispatch, right, when you, and I'm, I'm, look, Central Dispatch is probably one of the greatest platforms out there. When I say they got this thing down pat, they got this thing down pat. While Central Dispatch is not a shipping company, we connect you to over 6,000 carriers ready to transport your vehicles. In addition, we provide access to U.S. DOT license information, insurance information, and ratings for carriers, as well as online dispatching systems to make dispatching faster and easier. Now, I have never, when I was, when, 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 when we were a brokerage firm, and we were moving a bunch of such dispatchers, matter of fact, we had someone to hack our system and move about $76,000 worth of loads without our knowledge on such dispatch. Whoa. <laughs> that. That's the reason why we stopped being a broker. That's, that's the reason why we shut down because our, our DOT number and MC number had been compromised. Those of you who, who have been with us for a while, you all, you, all remember that. Our students who have been with us for a while, they, re, they remember that. We found out that over more than $76,000 worth of loads yep. had, had, been ran, had been ran and we had no idea who was doing it. But it was using our MC number and DOT number on Central Dispatch. Okay? They were running loads. I mean, just running loads and, and, and getting paid. <laughs> okay? But here's the thing about Central Dispatch. I've never ran into a situation 
where I couldn't, where, where, where a carrier didn't pick up one of our loads. Especially if you're, because see, here's the thing about it is, if you're, the, the carriers, when they're looking at loads, if you've got, let's say you only have, let, 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 let's say it's a Sunday, and you post a load, and there's only nine carriers leaving out of Miami area, but there is, uh, there is, um, there is um, 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 800 available loads. All the other available loads on there are at what? $150 a car, $200, $200 a car, $175 a car, because that's what these carriers are normally used to, used to run. And then they see yours down there, where you got a one-car pickup, and it's paying a thousand dollars. Or you got a one-car pickup to add to their truck that already has cars on it. Because remember, when you put this stuff on there, it's only showing you the carriers that are in route or in that area that have available space on their carriers. So if they're in route already, that means what? They're already moving, headed towards going past your drop-off um, location. They haven't gotten to your pickup location yet, but they're on that route. They have seven cars on their trailer right now that they have on there for 175 to maybe 250 maybe $300 a car. And then they've got space for three more cars. And then they see, they, as they're moving, it pops up on their thing that Central Dispatch has a car available for pickup 20 miles from where you are right now and it's on your route. And your drop-off is somewhere along the route of where you're going with those cars you already have. And you're offered $1,000 to pick that car up. You think, you think those nine carriers are going to give a rat, rat for two to buy them other 800 loads on there paying a, a dollar seventy? I mean $175 to $300 when they see yours on there that's paying 1000 And let me be clear on this. They're, they're making some of them drivers take a car from Miami to San, um, San no. Francisco for no. $165? No. No. no, no. Those, see, here's the, here's the difference. Most of the carriers, most of these, all of these bids you see on, 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 on you ship, all these bids, I'm um, usually here for $1,800, um, you know, $800, $900. A thousand, twenty six hundred, all these bids, those are by hot shots. Those are hot shots. And the reason why and the reason why those are hot shots because what? Big carriers or brokers can't make money on what? You ship. You know why? Because it's a lowest bid win. Right? But what I'm telling you, if you combine you ship and Central Dispatch, listen to me, if you combine the two, if you use them in conjunction, if you create a hybrid, a marriage between the two, and your offspring is what we are presenting to you now, okay? You're creating, you're creating something that no one else is using. Everyone else is just using one or the other. And because they're not thinking outside of the box and combining both of them, by combining both of them, you can use the way Central Dispatch operates, right, as an advantage to cherry pick on you ship. Because remember, Central Dispatch has car haulers. These are big car haulers. These are not hot shots. These are big car haulers, 7 to 11 car trailers. These are the big boys. When you see them riding down the road, they got their cars stacked. That's what, that's what these are on Central Dispatch, okay? But it's only showing you the ones that have available space on their carrier already that's already in route with, uh, with, with a load of cars. Got so you. So they may have a load of cars that they're running, seven cars, seven cars times 150 is what? You see what I'm saying? So they're not running one car for 150. They're running seven cars for 150 each, or 175 each, or 225, or $300 each. And you're offering them one car to add on to the money they're already making. You're, you're offering the opportunity to add another grand, $900, $700, $1,500 to the load that they already have going the direction they're already going. So there's no convenience for them. It's just 
extra money, right? Yes, sir. I got you now. Now look, and you and you probably say to yourself, like, it's like, why have us? Why do other people not do this? Everybody does not. I have what's called an autographic uh, memory. Most of my students who we earlier, you you know my story. Okay, you know my story. Okay, um, I. When I was young, I used to stutter. Even now, I still tend to stutter. When I was young, I stuttered so bad, my heart actually stopped three times. Three times when I was young, my heart stopped. I stopped breathing because I could, because I was choking on my own words. I, my stuttering problem was just that bad. It was just that bad. My mom. And my dad and my grandparents, everybody, they spent a whole bunch of money sending me to these different doctors to find out what was my problem. Finally, they sent me to this specialist, and it was determined that I have what's called an autographic memory. Not a photographic memory, but an autographic memory. Everything I hear, everything I hear gets stored like a recorder. I can access in my head from 15 years ago and tell you the exact content of the whole conversation, how it was spoken, what content it was said in, where it was presented, whole nine yards. So everything that I hear stays in my head. It's just compartmentalized and I access it whenever I want to access it. I pull up useless, useless information um, like it's nothing. You know, like, like stuff like, um, what is deja vu? Do any of y'all know what, what deja vu is? Do any of y'all know what deja vu really is? I'll, now, now, I'm going to give you an example of just how much useless information I got in my head. Any of y'all know what deja vu is? It's like... <laughs> huh. I hate can, anybody, can, can anybody tell me what deja vu is? What's the, what causes deja vu? You know, like you've, re like, like you've lived a moment already. You know, like you've lived this before in the past or something, right? Okay, yeah, there you go. All right, so uh, 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 so have you had this conversation? Yeah, exactly, right? We have had this conversation before. <laughs> uh, we have had this conversation before. before. Um, 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 post a bid you just won from you ship to Central Dispatch. Exactly. Your regular uh, low board potions are an example. Your phone will blow up exactly the moment you get posted on the central dispatch. We do it all the time uh, when we see loads posted on low boards, right? Exactly. Look, but just to give you a quick. Deja vu is 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 this. Just like you have a dominant, everyone has a dominant and a less dominant uh, feature. Either you're right-handed or you're left-handed. You're either going to be, um, you know, your left eye is always going to be stronger than your right eye, or your right eye is going to be stronger than your left eye. You have a dominant and a less dominant trait. All deja vu is is your dominant eye seeing something, and then your less um, dominant eye is just catching up a millisecond later, or a hundredth of a millisecond later. And because your eyes see it, and register at different times, your brain can only extrapolate it or your brain can only deal with it as a memory. That's deja vu. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, how do I know this? Hell, if I know, I read it somewhere in some journal, somewhere, whatever, whatever, or I heard it. Uh, I actually not read it, but I heard it somewhere, and it got stuck in my head. That's, that's how much useless information I have. <laughs> the Lord... I've never had a reason to go and look up deja vu, believe me. But if you look it up, it'll tell you that's what it is. That is the medical term. That's the actual term. That that's what happens when you have deja vu. Nothing more than you say I've I've seen this before. Yeah, you did. You saw it about a tenth of a millisecond ago. <laughs> that's when you saw it before. But your brain is forced to register it, or it can only comprehend it as a memory. Okay. So, with that being said, um, Central Dispatch, uh, and yes, we're going over this, for those of you who have been with us for a while, yes, we did go over this in the past, but we have a bunch of new members. We have a bunch of new members, and if you go back and watch some of our videos, 
um, you can see some of that stuff. And the reason why we're bringing it up today is because this combined with the announcement that we're allowing you all to keep your whole 10% of the dispatch fee, that's a big uptick in your revenue. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a big uptick in your revenue. And if you're going to be doing auto hauling, this is the way for you to make a lot of money and keep and keep the other half of your money if you're on our subscription base versus our half of your fee base. And how do we okay. get to that? Uh, how do how do we contact you about that? <laughs> um, just send us a send us a and. Send the, the email to training at drbbsllc.org. Okay, good enough. Thank Send you. Send email over to training at drbbsllc.org that you want to request to be added to the subscription base and get off of the half off um, 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 dispatch fee, um, half off, the, get off of the half, um, the split 50 50 and get onto the um, 1% keep your, what you call it, and just get onto the subscription of 19.95 per month. And then it, you automatically build that every month. All right. Um, okay. All right. Any more questions on auto hauling? Because we're getting ready to get into Q&A. Not just for auto, but we're getting ready to do some Q&A. Any questions you all have about the industry, about uh, carriers you've been talking to, about uh, things you need any answers to today is the day to do it. Uh, we get ready to go into our into our our Q and A session. Any more questions about what we just went over on the auto hauling today on how to how to increase your revenue on U ship and how to cherry pick on U ship and U ship to dispatch and U ship to make more money. All right, everybody seems to got it. All right, great. All right, let's go on to our Q&A. Q&A session, I'm going to mute everyone, and then if you have a question, ask it, okay? Ask the question, and um, the, the, the. all you've got to do is unmute yourself, tell us who you are, what state you're representing or where you're from, or, and if you have a company name, what company you are, and then uh, and, and and ask your question. So um, we are now entering our question and answer phase for the next two hours up until well up until one fifteen. We we we, we kind of went over on our uh, what's called. So we got an hour for Q and A. So let's go in and do our Q and A session right now. We're starting that right now. We're open for questions. Let's get started. Anybody want, anybody has a question about anything you experienced during the week? Anything you need answer to? Now is the time to ask those questions. Scout, how you doing? I'm doing great. Who are we speaking with today? Uh, this is Keenan, and how everybody else doing? I got a question as you about the car hauling again, okay? Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. okay you ship uh, the private owned. Okay, once we set up that uh, they're going to pay us 20% when we pick up from the private owner, right? Okay. So how, how will we be getting paid? Will we be using our cash app or what? You tell them how you want to be paid. Okay. Because remember, yeah, because because remember, you're dealing with them directly. Now, if you've done what we told you to do, is download your cash app, that gives you a perfect way to collect your payment, right? Right. Uh -huh. okay. Have to send it over to your cash app, or or I or we're gonna go ahead and set up in the back office site the the, uh, the 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 square, not just the cash app, but the square business app, which is also free too, where you can collect payments with credit or debit card, where you can where you can invoice them. You can send them an invoice and they click it and they can pay with a debit or credit card. Or you can have them over the phone, you can go to your virtual terminal like like you see here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show it to you. Okay. I'm gonna show you our virtual terminal. Let's go to our virtual terminal on Square. Okay. I can I, I can send you all the Square um 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 link to download and sign up for the Square Cash app. Not not Cash App book. For Square Business, okay. This is your, this is the Square Business um, uh, um, platform, as you can see here in uh, SquareUp.com. 
and it has a dashboard. Um, once you set up your business, you'll be able to log in, log into your log into your your business office here. And from here, you can you know they'll send you a they send you a card swipe. You can put it on your phone, just swipe it. You have a virtual terminal you can go into and just type in the information, credit card information, article information, and hit you know charge and the charge of the car. You you can send invoices. You can order the uh, 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 what is it? the uh, there's all type of stuff you can order. Matter of fact, we've got an order in right now that I need to process as soon as I get out of here. Um, but this is the virtual terminal. When you come down here to the virtual terminal, once you get this app, this is where you conduct all your business in the square. And you come here and you want to uh, your virtual terminal. You can either enter or swipe cards with square terminal with the virtual terminal, or you can take a payment. You can click where it says I'll take a payment. When you click take a payment, it's going to pull this up, and there it is. Very simple. Put in the order amount. If 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 you tell them to pay you three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, twelve hundred bucks, whatever it is, you put twelve hundred in right there. You're gonna put in a note. What is for? You ship order number. You ship auto haul number. You ship whatever you wanna you wanna put it in that method of payment. You can enter the credit card number um, um, manually, or if it's one of your previous customers, you can pull up their cards from their previous your customer file. If you, you put it in manual, just go down here and you just type in the card number. You type in the expiration date. You type in the CVC number, the the, the, the three digit code on the back, and you type in the billing. Um, you type in the billing zip code. When you do that, it's going to pull up something down here that says submit. You click the submit button, and bam, it'll tell you if it was approved or not. Okay. Now once, how and, and then once the transaction is done. Okay, you can go back to your to your uh, um, home page. Once the transaction is done and you put all the information in and everything you got in there, you go back to your home page and then you. So remember, when you do this, you're gonna connect your bank account to it. All right, you're gonna connect your bank account to it, or you can have it to where you can send it right over to your Square card. Like right here, we've got an order in. For someone that did the, the military uh, discount, I know that's the military discount because it's only two forty nine ninety five. All right, so that's the order that came in. All right, what we can do here is uh, where it says orders. This must have just came in because it doesn't even have the deposit now thing on it. Um, uploading deposits includes. Yep, see, it, it this order just came in. I can click on it. Click on directory and click on last visited, and this order came in. Actually, came in two hours ago. Hold on here. Let me see if I can make this deposit. Go to the home, and let's make this deposit. And you can deposit money straight from here right into your account. Is what you can do. Okay. Um, there's a button here. Uh, I don't think it's completely loaded up, but there's going to be a button here that says deposit now. You can click on it and you can deposit your funds right then and there right into your bank account. Okay? Because right here it has upcoming deposits. Where it says upcoming deposits, upcoming deposit 217, uh, 4 to 6 from that last order we just got in. Um, after, after a while, it'll let us know that we can deposit it now. I gotta send them their receipt. Well, it automatically sends them a receipt. I gotta send them their instructions on how to get enrolled with our platform. And basically, all that is is me. All that is is me coming down here and sending them their message to on how they get enrolled with our platform. And I just pull this up. But you do all your stuff from your Square from 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 your Square account. Everything is done directly from your Square account. And it really is just that simple. It really is just that. So give me a second here. I'm just All right. Did, did that answer the question for you? Yeah, answer my question. I got paid. Now, how will my uh, uh, carrier get paid? 
Right? Remember you said the carriage getting yeah, the carriage getting paid at the drop. Remember? When okay, the carrier so drops that load off to that customer, that customer's gonna bring that carrier his money out there. <laughs> okay. And, and basically all you're doing is when you when 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 your customer takes your accepts your bid, okay, you're gonna have all that laid out in your U ship contract. Okay. So the customer knows how they are to pay, you know, such such person or, or who gets paid what when they get paid and things of that nature. But all that's gonna be laid out in the contract. And if it's not laid out in the contract, you're gonna call them up or they're gonna contact you and you're gonna say, Hey Mr. Cuffin, this is such and such, uh, with uh you ship um your uh, this is your client on you ship. We're gonna be responsible for getting your car moved. Okay? Um, as you notice there is a thirty percent um uh, advanced um, pick up fee. So when they pick up the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and build you on um, thirty percent. And then when you, when the carrier drops the vehicle off, you're you're gonna pay the carrier directly the remaining seventy percent. You see how that works? Yes, sir. All right. Any other questions? Jesus. Any other questions? Does can anybody you, have? Excuse me. Can you use PayPal to do what? Do the same thing that you're uh, saying with you, Square. Yeah, I mean, you can use whatever system you want to use with 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 uh, with with ViewShip and all those type of places. That if that if you are on if you are getting your whole one hundred percent from um, uh, uh, if you are not on an, our subscription plan. If you are paying, if you are on the split commission plan, you don't have to worry about that anyway because uh, we're going to do your billing. You understand what I'm saying? We'll, I mean, we're going to do your billing. This, you can, you can do it that, you can use PayPal if you're, if you're doing your 100%, if you're doing your, um, your split, uh, your split commission. No, no, I take that back. If you're doing the subscription, nineteen ninety five uh, uh, per month to access our our platform, you can use uh, whatever you want to use. Okay, because remember, in using U Ship and Central Dispatch, we just give you all instructions on how you can use it and how you can use it to, to your advantage. We're showing you how you can make more money from it. Mm -hmm. But if you want to use PayPal to get paid. Uh, to, to, to collect your pay, you can do that. Yeah, of course you can. You can use whatever you want to use. You can use, you can use carrier pigeons if that works for you. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, but if that works for you, that's fine. Uh, 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 um, you know, Square <laughs> to me is the best way to do it because obviously they've got debit cards and credit cards and stuff like that. So why well, not just go and get it done and the money hits your account? But they charge you uh, um, three point five percent. I'm looking at their website. That's why I'm. Yeah, I'm, they're gonna charge you money. It's 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 for convenience. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I I pay three point five percent all day long. You know, if I'm gonna guarantee, I'm gonna get my money. Okay. You know, three point five percent of five hundred is not that much money. Mm, believe it or not, it's 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 a good you know. To me, it's good, man. Yeah, but what other system are you going to be able to get onto without them doing the background check and credit check and seeing that you've got X number of revenue flowing and all that stuff before you can get a merchant account? You know what? It, you, you know how much hassle it is to get approved for a merchant account? No, I don't. <laughs> it tries sometimes. <laughs> it's like pulling teeth, man. Anybody who, who's ever tried to get a merchant account, they, they'll tell you it is a hassle. Okay. Is, and, and then you still have fees. No. Problem. I like yeah. I prefer Square because it's simple, it's to the point, and they have other stuff like what Square. Um, Square. Um, they have the uh, the Square Money Advance because every time. So look, Square. Offers us a loan 
based on the amount of revenue and the frequency of revenue that we have. If Square sees that we're processing, let's say, $5,000 or stuff or $10,000 in revenue every month, Square comes on and offers us a $5,000 loan. Really? Right? Yeah, offers us a $5,000 cash advance loan where they just advance us money, put it right into our account. And you want to know how we pay it back? We pay it back by paying what? A 2% or 3% of every transaction that we make on Square. That's how it's paid back. And when that loan gets paid down, guess what? They offer us another one. If, in, if that loan get, once that loan gets paid down to under five hundred dollars or under thousand dollars, they offer us another loan. And, and usually they're going up about twenty percent every time. Do they report the credit? Next, the, Do the, they the report the credit union and? Uh, uh, that I don't know. You have to you have to check that with Square. I think they do because I know my credit score has jumped. Um, it jumped a hundred points last two months ago, and then it jumped another twenty points two weeks ago. And the last loan we got from Square was like twenty five grand. Oh, that's good. So the more business you're doing, the more their loan offers go up. And who can't use extra cash in their business accounts? That's almost like getting a line of credit. That's exactly what it is. Okay. I can go with that. <laughs> okay. So, um, what did I just do? Uh, but, 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 yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, um, hold on, everybody. I kind of got off track here. My bad. But that's exactly what it is. Give me a second. Let me sit in this, and we'll get back to our questions. But are, are, are there any other questions? Come on now. I know you all got questions. During the week, I watched the chat group. Y'all are asking questions left and right. And now come the time with y'all to ask me questions. Y'all ain't got nothing to say? I see on the chat group, y'all be like, at Calvin, at Calvin. Y'all know I don't ask questions during the week. And then on Saturday, you all got nothing to say. No questions, no nothing. The only thing I got... How do I get on your chat uh, your chat group with the with the keyboard? Um, if you are enrolled already, I am. You go back to go back to the orientation channel, and it will tell you to um, submit your your request to join the chat group to me personally. Go to my personal. Um, go to go to your Instant Messenger on Facebook. Look me up, Calvin Butler. Um, look for me in that purple shirt and everything. Uh, look me up, Calvin Butler, and send me a personal message. Please add me to the chat group. Here is my enrollment email address, so we can check your email address. And the intern will then um, check your email address, get the enrollment, and then they will add you to the chat group. Okay, but the only people who are who are, who are allowed to access the chat group are those of you who are enrolled, have passed your basic knowledge quiz, and have watched and finished your orientation video. If you have done that, and then you want to submit your what you call it, uh, you can you can submit it. Okay. Okay. On the way. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, all right. Any other questions? Questions. Questions. Q and A. Q and A. It's twelve thirty-one. We've got about about forty minutes. Where's your questions, everybody? I know some of y'all have questions now. Not just about auto hall. I mean, anything about the industry. Anything about where to find freight, where to book freight. Uh, well, let me ask you a question. Does everyone? Does everyone have uh let's see who is this? This is Shanty. Okay, I have to contact her later. Um Chanty just sent a message on on the on, on the chat and says she sent her information over a month ago. Uh Chanty, where are you sending the information to? That's the question I have to ask. Um exactly where are you sending the information to? Um 
if you if you're sitting in your if you're sitting in your info for the back for not for the back office for your uh, your toll free extensions and things like that that's got to go to dispatch at rbbstransport.com. That's where that has to go. If you're sitting there anywhere else other than that, it 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 just won't get done. Okay, it it, it just won't get done. It's got to go to dispatch at rbbstransport.com. That's where it's got to go. Okay. Um, um, don't forget, Charles Monday has an ebook series. If you all want to know about the terms, terminology, um, how to connect the dots with our platform and everything, he has an ebook series that explains all of that. Um, very useful ebook. I would advise you all to take a look at it. It is a very useful ebook and it's helped a lot of people to to really understand our platform and put it into action and connect the dots with where you can start making money. German said, excuse me for asking again, do we have to apply for a business license to sign up for Central Dispatch? I don't think you've got to apply for a business license. You would if, yeah, you do if you don't have a DOT or an MC number. In other words, you have to set up a support type of business to get you in. Something dealing with the auto dealerships and in, 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 in either helping people to find cars and arranging the shipment of those cars. If you're doing it that way, yes, you've got to do a business license because they're going to want to they're going to want you to send that information in if you don't have an MC number or a DOT number. The easiest way to get on there is to get one of your carriers and uh, access it through one of your carriers. If you or or contact a what? Auto hauler. Contact an auto hauler, right? I think we got some auto. I mean, you, you, yeah, free auto transport directory. If you go to the back office site, you go to the back office site, click on the free auto transport directory, and pull up auto haulers in your state. Call them up, and then tell them who you are and what you can do for them. Let them know how you can get them, I don't know, twice as much money sometimes almost twice as much money as what they're normally getting per car on the auto haul and get them to sign and, 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 and get them to uh, give you access to that central dispatch account. That's all you got to do. Because I guarantee you if you call an auto hauler, they already got central dispatch. They already got it. So if you get one of these auto haulers signed up to a dispatch agreement, and then just access it through their account. Okay? If that's what you want to do. All right? Any that's other questions? That's definitely a good idea. All right? All right. German says thank you, and thank you for the question. Any other questions? Any other questions? Any other questions? Any other questions? <laughs> Please don't start singing. I'll, I'll tell you, that, that's what I do, man. When, it, when I ain't get no questions, I get bored, so I start singing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hey, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, this is Tony Walsh. How is everybody doing this morning? I'm doing great, Tony. I'm, okay, I'm pretty good. sure everybody else is doing fine. Okay, great. Um, it's just a, a question related to um, to you ship. Would we be able to also, if we can get access to it, to use uh, Uber? Because they usually have cars available for full loads, too. And I say that because I... I was talking to a guy that he does his own dispatching, if you will, or car hauling. He just go to his uh, Uber account and look for the available cars that's available and just pick them, pick them up on the weekend, take them now, to where they need to be. Now, see, that's a new one on me. I'm not familiar with the Uber aspect. Uh, that's a new one on me. See, yeah, now you about to have car loads. See, see, now you're about to teach me something. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, know, heard, I just heard it through the grapevine doing networking hey, stuff. Look, look, that's the whole point of networking, right? That's You're right. That's, that's that's the great thing about networking. So not everybody knows everything. So, right. uh, but but now that's a, but that, that but that, that's a new one on me. I I have not heard about uh, Uber. Now, is it Uber that is? Do they have cars that need to be shipped? Yep. Or what? Yep. Um, matter of fact, he usually pull up on my block uh, with his his car hauler, 
and he, uh, I just happened to just talk to him for a minute, and he was showing me the Uber board because he said he had cars he could do Uber. But um, he said, here's the load board. You just look on there, pick your cars. He said, I already got everything mapped out. Him, his girl, and his son have their own car haulers, and that's what they do on the weekend. Okay. Short run from here, from Michigan to um, Ohio, but they usually go a little bit further out. But okay. they got everything just straight up, just click on it, click on it, and pick up and go. That's a new one of me. It's called, Charles says it's Uber Freight. Well, no, uh, he's not talking about, I don't think he's talking about Uber Freight. He's talking about Uber cars that need to be moved. Like, Uber has his own fleet of cars now where, where, yeah, where, they got like a where, low, like a low board. Yeah, where drivers can go, where, where people who want to drive for Uber but don't have a car, if you want to use an Uber car, I'm guessing you can pay a lease fee for an Uber car. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, some people go through Lyft to do that, but yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uber trying to, Uber I used to, trying to I used to, the market. I used to drive for Uber, but um, you know, I only yeah. did it for, for a little while. But when I actually had me, a, Yeah, I, I actually had a an Uber fleet <clears throat> where okay. it was um um the uh, uh, uh what's the word where the uh, the executive type cars. Um, you know, Range Rover, Mercedes, things like that. Not the Uber Black, but the other one. The one that's where it's all um, executive type cars. But uh, I had an Uber fleet. Like, I, I was running for a while, but I didn't realize Uber had their own cars now that you could lease and just use the Uber car. I knew they were doing some stuff through Enterprise and Dollar where you can rent cars from, from Enterprise or Dollar and use them to drive for Uber. They have a special rate through them. But uh, that's interesting. interesting. Yeah, he said long as, long as you, um, you know, did business with them, whether you was a driver or whatever, and you have access to them, then you can have access to, to their load board, and you can just go on there and pick your, pick your cars you want. Well, I'll tell you what. So, Gather that information and the links for me on that, and, and uh, we'll have some discussion about that later on to see if we can uh, figure out exactly how that works, and then we'll we'll have a um, we'll have a um, an, an operational we'll training session. It. Yeah, we have an operational training session on that. Anything to help us all move more freight. Okay. All okay. right. I just I just I just sent everybody a link to the um, to. Um, to um, the auto haulers in your state, where you can locate the auto haulers in, in your state, and you can contact them. They have their has has all of their information. In you can pull them up by state or by city. I would do it by state. Um, that's how I would do it, and just contact the auto haulers if you want to try and get them signed up to a dispatch agreement or something like that. All right. Any other questions? Any questions? Any questions? 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 Oh, questions. one other one other thing, Kevin. He also showed me that he already has. Central Dispatch as another option for them. So yeah. what you telling me, I can just see if I can get a little bit more. Uh, um, I don't want what you what word can I use, but talk to him to see if he possibly can get me on Central Dispatch, or do I have to yeah. even deal with you? Okay. No, nah, just I mean if he if he already has one, see if he can get you on there. See if he yeah. or or let you use his um uh, let him use um let let you use his login. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Any other any questions, y'all? We are getting close to our time, so we need to. If you have questions, let's get them out. We got about fifteen minutes. We got about fifteen twenty minutes. Any questions? 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 All right. Well, let's do this then. While I'm waiting to see if any of y'all have a question, let's go to our Facebook page and our chat group, and let's look at some of these questions that people were asking over the weekend. Says nobody wants to talk to me today. I'm gonna have to have a concert here in a minute. Oh, by the way, too, those 91 low boards to get access to them. When you said um, take a day out to sit down and, and and join a lot of them and see whether they request to uh, get access to their low boards. That is yeah. a, a wonderful, wonderful 
uh, option that you gave us the opportunity to get in contact with because you know the only way you're going to find better paying loans is you call them and do business with with them and find oh, out yeah. their terms and conditions. Yeah, these are the data one free load boards that he's talking about in case you all out there, you all don't know about our back office site. This is some of the stuff that we uh, give access to. Uh, this is these these data one additional free load boards. You can click on them and pull them up and kind of go through the stuff. Um, you know, available loads, you know, stuff like that. You gotta log in. Well, once you create your login on that one, you'll be able to you to access those loads and things and other loads. But that's the down one free load board that he's talking about. In case y'all are, are, are wondering, and here they are right here. Tons and tons and tons and tons of load boards. Okay. Um, let's go to our Facebook page and look at some of the questions since you all don't want to talk to me today. Um, hey, Kevin, I got one more question. This Keenan. No, go ahead, Keenan. Uh, is you going to load up any more uh, load boards in the back office? We are. I, I've, I've just been so busy. I've actually looked at some of the stuff you all have sent me. If you have a load board that you want to present to us, because um, remember, another way that you all can make money is if you get access to a load board and uh, – if it's a paid access load board or if it's a you know a free access load, whatever it may be, if you get access to a load board, uh, especially well, if it's a paid access load board, if you're paying for access um, to the load board, if you want to load that load board up in our back office, if that load board would allow multiple users to, to log on at the same time onto one login, then present that to us. We will take a look at it and then we will add it to our back office site. If we add your load board to that back office site, everybody who, anyone who gets a load from that load board, right, and runs a load, you will be paid 2.5% of the load fee. If, it, if it, those of you who opt to be on the subscription, because we are billing you, we are billing the, uh, your carrier, the invoice, we are still doing the invoicing. Uh, we're just not charging you for it. Uh, we're still doing the invoicing. We're doing it, you know, that's included in that 19.95 per month. We're still doing your invoicing, and we're not going to charge you for doing the invoicing. Uh, if you got your load, we're going to ask you the same question: Who helped you find the load? When you tell us who helped you find the load, or where did you get the load from? When you tell us they got the load from such and such load board in the back office area, if that load board was loaded up by Keenan, Keenan is going to get his 2.5 percent of of that load fee. So that means you won't get the full 10%, you would get 7.25%, 7.5%, right? Yeah, 2.5, 10% minus 2.5 to 7.5, right? Is that right? Right. Yeah, so you'll get just 7.5% if you got that load from somebody else or if you got it from one of the load boards that were in the back office site that were presented by one of our members. Okay? All right. Uh, good question. All right. Uh, oh, I want to give a uh, a a a a a a. Um, our prayers go out to everybody who is stuck in Carolina. I know Charles is from that area. I'm glad he's safe. Him and his family are safe. Uh, we want to hope that everybody's safe, but we but we especially want our members and their carriers and their relatives and friends and stuff to be vigilant and safe up there during that storm. Uh, Florence, I know about hurricanes. I deal with them more often than not, but uh, we understand um, how how that can turn you know some things upside down. I know they deal with a lot of stuff. Uh, again, uh, Charles Mundy and some other people have some access to FEMA um, loads Check with them to see if there's any um, FEMA, uh, great paying FEMA loads out there because there are going to be a whole bunch of them. There, there are always a bunch of them for about the first for about the first four weeks after any big disaster, any big storm like that. So that's an opportunity for, for you all to uh, get up to get some of those loads and run some of those loads and get your carriers made some good money uh, along with yourself. Okay. Uh, Questions that we have here in the back office site. I'm trying to go back here about a week. Uh, 
Does anybody, all right, um, let's see here. Hi, folks, so between vacay and work on the Saturdays, I haven't been able to join the training. Are they recorded for us? Are they still every Saturday at 10 each time? Yeah, our, our YouTube channel, that's a great question, by the way. It reminds me to give you our YouTube channel again. Our YouTube channel can be found in the back office site. If you're in the back office site, you can see our YouTube channel. And that is right here. Scroll down. There it is right there. That's our YouTube. If you click on this video on YouTube, if it pulls it up, right, and it plays it here, it plays it right there on the site. If you want to go to our channel and see all of our videos, just click where it says YouTube right there. Watch on YouTube. Click that, and it opens it up on YouTube, and then you can go straight to our, and then from there, you can go directly to our RBBS Logistics Learning Center. See right there? You click on that. That's our channel. If you click that, it'll take you directly to our channel, and where you can access all the videos, all 43 operational training videos, promotional videos, uh, promo videos, branding videos, everything that we have, you can access it all right here. So everything you need to know about our platform is basically it's in our training videos. And they're all here. They're all here. So take some time to go back and watch these training videos, as you all can see here. No one provides more training, practical application training videos than we do. No one. I don't... Please tell me if there's another platform out there that gives you all three hours of training every Saturday. That allows for people to come down and take part in that training. We don't have anybody here today, but you know we we're, we we're, 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 we are uh, uh, doing more promotions locally to bring more of our local people here in the area to come down and, and so they can learn how to book freight. And that's free of charge. We don't charge anybody for coming in here, sitting down with us, open up their laptop, and we're showing them how to what we do, where we do it, and how we do it at. We don't charge anybody for that. I'm gonna get out here and jump. I'm gonna get out here and jump in this pool here in a second. Um, as soon as I finish this, and uh, and, and 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 swim me some laps. I'm gonna go ahead and get my life vest because I'm not as strong a swimmer as I used to be. <laughs> and no, I don't have the little rubber ducky things on my arms. I got an actual vest. <laughs> I got an actual vest that I put on. It looks like Rambo when I jump in the water. So. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, why y'all laughing? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a, that's what I want to do, all right? But uh, but yeah, but look, uh, just to let you all know, while I'm waiting for somebody to come up with a question here, just to let you all know, um, this is a great this is a great industry. Okay, I'm gonna I say this all the time, and I'm gonna say it again. This is a great industry. This is the best kept secret in America. If you don't believe me, ask Charles Monday. If you don't believe me, ask ask um, who else we got? Uh, uh, a whole bunch of people. As uh, Mr. De Castro, uh, ask some of the other people here who are who are, who are booking crazy, crazy, crazy freight. I mean, come on. I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, I, like like you all you all just. Heard Charles Monday's day said, you know, yesterday he booked 12 loads, or day before yesterday, yesterday he booked 12 loads in one day. He averages four to six loads per day. That's four to six mm -hmm. loads per per day. Come on now. Uh, like I said, if you want to know who's making the money, go talk to Charles. Okay? Uh, let's see, Kids has got a problem. He says, I'm trying to get you to look at the Lahoney.com. Uh, okay, Lane, Lane, honey. Okay, yeah, we'll take a look at that. Um, Lane, honey. Uh, little boy, several members about. Okay, he's told several members about. It. Okay, we'll take a look at the Lane, honey, and um, see what they have to offer. Matter of fact, let me check it out right now. For those of you who want to know what the Lane, honey, is, and then we'll see if we can get that in our. Uh oh. All right, we'll, I'll take a look at it, and I'll see if I can, um, and we'll see what we'll see what they're all about, and we'll um, 
think about getting in, sweeten your margins, market data, and tools for, for trucking. Looks good. Looks good. But, but we'll come back to that, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it, and I'll get with you on that uh, and, and, um, and, and see about getting that into our back office. But as I was saying, this is a great industry. It really, really is. It is the best kept secret in America. I don't, I don't know how often I got to tell you that. I don't know what else I can tell you. And in case y'all didn't see this guy right here, Richard Stevens, he's he's one of our um, uh, um, 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 past students. He started uh, uh, something where he does um, the heavy hauling. Yeah, the auto hauling. Is it him? No, it's another gentleman, Courtney Phoenix. Courtney Phoenix started the the the, uh, the overweight hauling um, dispatch firm. But he was one of our students. He was one of our first students. And he is doing very, very, very well in what he does. Um, but anyway, let me, uh, back to what I was reiterating with you all. This is a great, um, this is a great industry. Um, there's a lot of money that is to be made in this industry. As I mentioned before, you all can see where Charles Monday is, is, like he was, he's, he's, he's averaging four or five loads, four to six loads per day. Four to six loads per day. Okay, I only book about eight to ten loads per week. And you see the revenue that's generated by eight to ten loads per week. So imagine booking four to five loads per day. Okay? So if you can imagine that and you begin to understand um, the opportunity you have before you. Okay? So, but anyway, uh, uh, yes, Lane, honey, I called about 10 brokers and they're averaging about $3.50 per mile. That's real good. Um, Lane, honey, average about $3.50 a mile on the load, so it looks like a great source. We're going to be adding it to the back off site um, here soon and make sure that uh, the gentleman who presented the tools gets credit for that. All right. All right. Um, any other questions? Anybody have any questions? Okay. Um, well, you're ready to wrap this up. We got about five minutes. So if you have a question, let's get it out there. Anybody have any questions? No questions, no questions, no questions. Okay. Come and talk to me. <laughs> I really want to see you, girl. I, I got, really want to know your name. name. <laughs> uh, so Y'all got me started now. Come and talk to me. <laughs> I really want to see you, girl. I want to know your name. All right, all right. I'm going to make me stop and ask you a question. Who has a question? No question? I guess y'all want me to keep going. Anybody got no questions? Anybody got any questions? Everybody silent all of a sudden. Thank you for the real opportunity. You're welcome, Brian. Brian says, thank you for the real opportunity. We, we, we try our best to, um, to, 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 to give some great opportunities. Um, Charles Money is letting you all look at his, um, he, he's just sent y'all some links to his, um, his e-book series. Great e-book series, by the way. Everybody who has taken, who has uh, downloaded his ebook series, uh, they say that it's great. It helped, it, it helped them to connect the dots. I know a lot of you all, because look, we throw a lot of stuff at you all. A lot of stuff. We offer more stuff than anybody else on the internet. I understand that. I understand it can be overwhelming. I understand it may even be a little confusing because you got so much stuff. That's why our process of getting fully connected with us goes in steps. That's why we don't just take you off from enrollment to just boom, dump you in. Because we did, and none of y'all would never get anything done. That's why our process has steps to getting completely integrated with us so we can acclimate you to getting used to doing things in a certain manner, doing things in, and, doing, and compartmentalizing and categorizing things as you go along. Because once you hit our platform, 
you're going to find out that once you hit our back office site, you hit our chat group, you hit all the stuff that we're offering, all the stuff that we unload on you, all the hours on, on YouTube, all the videos and everything, this and that, it's overwhelming. I understand that. We recognize that. Okay? So Charles Mundy, what he did, what he did from his experience, he started creating an ebook series that connects the dots for you. Because look, we don't have time to connect all the dots for you. What we do is with the Logistics Learning Center, we provide you with the network. We provide you with the platform. We plug you into the industry and we give you all your tools and resources, your your network, a place where you all can network and learn from, from each other and a place where you can get all your answers. We provide for you all the videos or, or the training and we provide you your live sessions with us every Saturday like we're doing here now. That's what we do. And that's a lot of stuff. But his ebook series breaks all that down and shows you and, and has those spots that are in between that connects those dots. Shows you, okay, well, this is the best place to, uh, to start. This is what you need to do to get started. Even though we explain that to you in the back office and in our training videos, a lot of you are not going to go and watch it. I don't, I don't know why they're there for you, but a lot of times you, you don't go watch them. But, but, but they are there. But his ebook series does connect the dots, and everyone who has taken his ebook series has always said that, wow, now I get it. Now I know how to use this in the back office. Now I know what this is for. Now I know the proper way to use this in the back office, or the proper way to use the check, the proper way to use this. You know, or I, now I know what this term means, that term means, when he's saying something, I don't, I don't feel so lost now. Okay? Check out the ebook series. Check it out. Okay, check it out. It, it it will help you. I'm not saying you. It's not re, it's not re, it's not required, but I certainly do recommend it. Yes, sir. I, um, and, and Charles, I noticed Charles, you use Wix. Are, are, can we use Wix to um, make us a web page? Yeah, of course. We recommend we it. Yeah, look, we, we recommend it. Okay. I mean, you see how you see how our site. Yeah, you see how how our site look. That's what we use. Wix. Um, I don't use Wix for all of my stuff. I use it for this platform. It is 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 great for building platforms and dispatch firms and, and things like that. I don't use it for everything, but I do use it for for most of my platform type stuff, more the complicated type stuff. Okay. Okay. And the reason why I ask Kevin because, like you say, this this is really this is a a, a teaching platform you take me mm -hmm. I appreciate you and Charles and the rest of you guys in the group but this is a really a teaching platform and the only way you're gonna get results is if you pick that phone up and call a carrier ship or broker what I'm finding doing my dispatching is we really like Kevin say have to teach these carriers how the industry should be ran because exactly. they are they have no knowledge of the information that we have access to and the people that we can get in contact to to make sure that we're getting them good quality loads. They just don't exactly. have those resources. So until you find a couple carriers that don't know what to do, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to get mad. But the most important thing, Kevin, I want to add is the give back system. Don't think about that money that Kevin is supposedly charging us as being at 5% or 2.5% because it's a give back system. You yeah. have to make money. And, and always remember that you will never be able to spend all the money, but the whole key is making the money. And the only way you're going to do that is you teach the carriers and you negotiate with some of these shippers, well, these brokers, to let them know you know that you're back behind some very intelligent people to say, my carrier needs this amount for that load. But to, to cut the negotiation down, just do what the boards are telling us, like Charles' board. It tells you the breakdown, how much they pay. Yeah. It tells yeah, you the breakdown per mile. And look. when you call them, and this is my last thing, Kevin, when you call this broker, you have the opportunity to let them know that you know what you're doing. Exactly. Exactly. Because uh, those numbers said, don't lie. And if yeah. those numbers, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you're exactly right. Numbers do not lie. I could not have said it better myself. I could not have put it any better myself, um, but but he but he is exactly right he, on everything he just said. Okay, um, and, and 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 when he talk about the the give back system, 
I can't tell you all what I went through the past two weeks convincing the board to go to a subscription base, giving you all the option of doing subscription base. So let me tell you what they're looking at. All right, we've got 872 students worldwide, okay? 60% of our students are not even on our chat group. We have a good number of students who, 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 who just get this platform, they watch the videos, they, you know, they, they'll tune in and listen to the uh, stuff that we do and everything, but they, grip, but they get it, they grab it, and they go on a book break. We have some students in other countries that have, uh, what do you call these, um, uh, what do you call them? What is that, the, uh, um, 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 the call centers. Thank you. We have some students in some of the other countries who actually have gone out and gotten call centers. They set up call centers where they got hundreds of people just calling, calling, booking freight, booking freight, booking freight, booking freight. Now, I'll tell you what, this is what I had to convince the board of. I had to convince our board, our board of investors and our trustees that we should give you all the opportunity, the option of keeping 1% of your load fee, of your dispatch fee. Now, I'm going to tell you how much money that is. You all look at it as 5%, you know, of my load. We look at it as this. If we have every... Student, if we only average one load per week for all our students, if you all just do one load a week, okay, no more. Not like some of y'all, like Charles is doing 12 loads in a day, six loads a day. We have a good many of our students, you know, who are doing hundreds of loads every month. Why? Because they have call centers and all types of stuff. But if our students only did one load per week, this is what it equals to, one load per week. We've got 872 students right now, 872. So if they only did one load per week, that's 872 loads per week. And if those loads were $100 loads, that means $50 went to you all and $50 went to us. Our cut of that $50 was just one load a week from 872 students. You see what they have to convince the board that is 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 better to do subscriptions, or is is better to offer them the options of doing subscriptions? Because in the long run, our subscriptions will overtake that number right there. And by the way, that's a week, y'all. Okay, a week. that's a week. So so yes, we do give back, but we are in this to make money. And any time you accept money from other people, you have a responsibility to make sure that they get a return on their investment. That's their return on the investment. This is a business. This is a very big thing. I'm not going to, I don't lie to nobody. Okay? I'm not going to lie to you. This is a very profitable business. Us coming in and doing this differently has worked out great for us. It really has. Because we're doing things differently. We're offering something that no one else has offered. A real opportunity. That's what we offer. We are offering a real opportunity, and that real opportunity has paid off for our investors. Okay? So for us to come in, or frankly, me to go to them, this last two weeks, it has been a battle to get them to agree. It was a battle to get them to agree to say, look, in the long run, yes, we made good money on, you know, half fees and this, this, and that, and, you know, and do the giveaway system and, and, and that type of thing. But we'll make even more money in the long run if we start letting our students keep 100% of their dispatch fee and they just pay a subscription fee. Do you all see how that will not only increase your money, but over time, it's going to increase our money. And, and I want everybody to, to understand that because it took me two weeks to convince the board members and the investor board to um, go ahead with that, op with that option. Okay? So, um, but yeah, it, it, it will in turn give us more money and it will give us more su sustainable money. 
And at the same time, it gives you all an opportunity to be in total control of your revenue and have complete revenue ownership. Okay? But that's what we do. That's how we operate. Um, it's that time, ladies and gentlemen. If you did, if you Cal, did get your Cal, Okay, now we got a question. What's up? <laughs> Real quick, this is a quick question. On the back office, um, how – Hallhound isn't working, the username and password on the back office. Yeah, I've got to get with the person that owns that account because that's not one of that's not an account that we own that's owned by one of the other uh, one of the one of the other members. Like I told y'all, y'all can submit a membership or whatever y'all can submit you can submit it. Um, apparently they haven't paid their monthly fee on it. So I need to contact them. I'm gonna take it off. Um, or I'm going to disable the link until uh, we get clarification. If he doesn't want to re-up it, uh, we'll probably just re-up it ourselves. Because we're using, we're in negotiation with Hall Howe um, for some other stuff too. Because um, they are more than just a low board. They are more of a low board development type of deal, to be honest with you. So we're using them to help develop our low board. And we're using some of their features and some features that they offer us for low board development. So, that, so even though they do have a good low board structure, the way they present it, they are more their their value to us is 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 more so along the lines of helping us to develop and put forth our own personal private low board. Okay, um, so the low board aspect of of our new low board. Uh, is they are they are assisting us with building that with building that with that part of it. The networking side, the monetization side, that's strictly all us. So that's what we're doing. Okay? It's kind of like a joint uh, venture type thing with us and us and Hall How. Alright? But we'll but we'll get that straightened out. We we are just in the process of um doing some stuff with them right now. So it's it's kind of complicated but we'll get it all straightened out. All right, all right. I thank you all. I appreciate you all. Um, 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 for, 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 for those of you who want to uh, start receiving 100% of your uh, of uh, your dispatch fee, and we'll still and we still do your processing. None of that changes. Your processing feels the same. We still invoice your carriers. We still take care of getting over to them and collecting that payment for you, and then we'll send you your money. Um, so we so we still uh, will do the processing on that. Okay. Um, so yeah, and you just pay us nineteen ninety nine per nineteen nineteen ninety five per month on a subscription. Uh, we'll be sending those out uh, to those of you who want it immediately. For those of you who have um, um, left our network. And doing this on your own, you're going to have to start paying a subscription to access our network. Uh, I know we've been letting you all access it for free for a while, but while we were trying to figure out what we we're going to do, well, now that we figured it out, if you if you have left our network and if you've gone out on your own, you've broken out on your own, which means you you are no longer paying us half of your dispatch fee. We are now going to start billing you on your, what you call it, if you want to remain connected with our network and access our chat groups and access all the stuff that we have to access, um, you still get the same access. It's just that you'd be on a subscription base. And now everyone will have the opportunity from here on out to either choose to do the 50% or do the, get 100% of your, what you call it, and do the subscription. Whichever way you decide to go, it has to remain so for six months before you have a window to do it again, before you have a window to um, change that again. So every six months we give you each, we give everyone a window of opportunity to um, to either switch the option, change the option, or whatever you want to do. But once you make a decision, once you choose one way or the other way, it has to remain that way for six months because we don't want everyone jumping around from, you know, yes, I want the subscription. No, I don't want the subscription. Yes, I want to take half. No, I want to keep 100%. And nah. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be six months and you lock in for six months. But uh call carriers, match them with truckers, path, uh represent yourself. Exactly. All right. 
Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate you all. You all are great. You all are doing a great job. I'm happy. Our board is happy. Our investors are happy. Most of you are happy. Again, if y'all need some money, call Charles Monday. He got all the money. Um, I thank y'all again. I appreciate everyone. I look forward to seeing everyone back here again next Saturday uh, when you have an opportunity to, to connect with me. Remember, during the week, chat group, Facebook chat group. That's where you get all your answers. All your answers. Contact, get on that Facebook chat group. Ask questions. Um, you know, help each other find loads. Let's get some loads ran. Uh, follow the workflow. The workflow in the back office tells you, gives you all the steps, step by step. Here's your workflow right here. Right there where it says workflow of dispatching. Follow your workflow. Read your workflow. Learn your script. How much money do you need to, uh, to move your truck? Learn that. Go through the, um, 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 there is a, an auto hauling, um, script here. It's already there. Look at that one. There's a general freight script. There's an auto hauling script. And, and the auto dealer script, both in PDF and in Word form. Um, also, uh, don't, don't forget Charles' ebook. He has, a, he, has, he has a sales one right now. I think some either thirty four ninety nine or thirty nine ninety nine, and you get all three series or four series combined into one. When one book was normally twenty nine ninety five, he's giving them all for thirty nine ninety five or something like that. Um, you use your free auto transport um, directory. Don't forget if you're looking for uh, um, um, brokers and things like that. If you're looking for loads, if you're looking for shippers, you want to find shippers. Go up into the sit code site, hit where it says search shippers. You can use the same sit code site to search for brokers too. Okay? So, um, everything you need is here. But I thank you all. I appreciate you all. Anybody who is looking to join our platform, you can join us by going to the rbbsllc.org. You can go to the rbbsllc.org. When you get there, you're going to see the RBBS Logistics Learning Center. It's our website to get signed up with if you want to sign up with us. If you want to sign up with us, this is the website you do it at, drbbsllc.org. Um, click where it says register now. When you get to the register now page, you're going to click over and on the upper left hand corner where it says, uh, I think I got too much stuff loaded up here. There we go. You're going to click the the upper left hand corner, or you're going to come down and there it is right there where it says the freight logistics training and, and consulting one time special offer for $499.95. You're going to click that and it's automatically going to give you your discount and drop it down to the $349.95. And you can, uh, that's how you get set up with us. Or you go to any one of our videos on YouTube that says earn while you learn freight broker training or the RBBS LLC operational training and you get there. Click on show more underneath the video. You'll see where it says uh, to enroll. Click here. And if you get here, you see where it has our enrollment on, it, on any one of our videos. And you're going to click where it says show more. And there's all your information. And there's a link where it's down at the bottom. Click on that and take you over to the enrollment center. Or just give us a call 866 973 6445, extension 2. 866 973. 6445 extension 2. Thank you all again. You all have a great day. You all be safe. We we'll look forward to seeing you all here next week. Same bat channel. Same bat time. I'm out.